episode of a fox tale. A foxy. Not a foxy tale. A foxy tale. Because I guess at this point we should uh, we should say it's a it's a a, 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 a fox skunk badger raccoon tale. So it's just <laughs> a furry tale. Animal. It's just a furry tale at this point. <laughs> furry. T- so. <laughs> I just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I got it. <laughs> we got it. I'm usually the, yeah. the pun master in it. I like that so. noise. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Box, it really was. Oh my goodness. If you're Scooting new backwards, here. he's going to fall. Oh, is he? No, the box. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Mm-hmm. Everything's he's fine. He's chilling. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's 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 chilling. The show so far, and if you're enjoying this show and you find that you enjoy our other content, then you should go check us out over at TikTok and Instagram at Blue Cottage D and D. We do a lot of fun D and D inspired skits. We do some behind the scenes footage. We do some clips. Uh, we we do just a variety of, of little snippets over there. We'd love it if you guys would give us a follow. And if you really, 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 really like us, really, really, you can go support us over at MidnightStrayCandleCo.com, which is right there down below me. Where we make fantasy inspired scented candles and handmade resin dice to help enhance your tabletop experience. Uh, speaking of dice. Yes. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working a little slow, but I'm hoping by the, hopefully, the end of the third week of the month. It might be the fourth week. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm still working on some things that I'm behind on. So, however, if you would like to see previews of said dice, go follow me on Instagram at Midnight Strike Candle Go. Um, yeah, and we have Discord, where you can see where I do the dice jobs, join the Discord, we'll drop that in the chat. Anything missing? I think so. Okay. Can't wait. Candles. Candles. We oh, also candles. have candles. Yeah, we have candles. <laughs> we have candles too, they smell good. They do smell good. I do smell good. They smell so great. great. So, <laughs> so we'd love if you guys would go check that out over there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Of course. Too. And uh, also, if you see down below our stat blocks, below us, you'll see a little bar there, a little graph that's steadily moving up. Um, it is, uh, that is our goals, that's our studio goals. So if you guys want to help support the stream and help us to, uh, to grow and to become better and to increase the quality of the stream, uh, then any bits that we receive will make that bar grow and get larger. Um, <laughs> Now, we're, we're doing it based on the project that we're working on at the time. However, the first project that we had, we didn't even have to put the bar up because you guys hit it in December. Uh, we were going to get brand new insulation put in this room in two weeks. We already have it on the schedule, and that is all thanks to you. So thank you guys so much for all your support of these past few months. Uh, as hopefully that will help with the echo in the room, and it will help when it rains outside so that it's not quite so loud, and we're not having to scream at you. Um, <laughs> But uh, so thank you guys so much. Everything that's uh, so every goal that we hit, we're gonna release the next goal, and all of these are going to be help enhance the quality of our stream, bring you more content, and bring you better content. So um, so we we appreciate everything that you guys have done for us, and we hope that you will continue to support our little stream. Uh, and just know too that everything you put in, we match at 100% of our own personal savings. So you're, you're we're we're all in this together, and we just wanted to let you guys know just how grateful we are that you're for your continued support. So, it has been way more than we could ever ask for. So, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, it was a little bit of a little Thought I heard. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Seriously, though. Because of all of you, we have been able to grow this to to levels that we never expected to. And we are, we are just so appreciative. So, thank you all very much for your support. This is like a B um, Disney animation anyway. That's exactly right. right. Yeah. 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 What is it? What? What? <laughs> DM in the seven <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So, um, announcements. A couple of things. First, uh, we don't have any more streams for us this week. We're off this weekend. And next week, we will be returning. We got four streams next week, guys, oh, uh, because we need you sleep. Guys so, are nuts. I know, That's because I also have to go to work every day. That so, guy. So. That guy. He's the nutter. I'm insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm, who needs sleep when you have caffeine? That's that's my that's my motto. Mm-hmm. So it really does. I know we both live by that. I'm wearing so, that shirt right now. Oh, are you the yeah. caffeine shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I need sleep. So see, you get it. I get You're it already too. on board. I understand. You're dragging Next. me through the mud. It's fine. <laughs> she got on board a few years back. I think she did too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, we will be returning with Tales from the Winter Wilds as they 
we'll see if that ends in a TPK or not. We have no idea what's going to happen. They're not. I I did not realize how bad off they were until Chris told me all their hit points last night, mm. and I was like, oh no, they have trouble. They have big trouble. Uh, so you, you guys don't want to that. That's not a big problem. problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. What's that? What's that? Uh, that reel that's going around right now? Oh, I'm I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's going to be happening Monday night. Tuesday night we'll be returning with Tales from the Blue Cottage. As Nathan makes his return from the Bahamas, we're going to be coming back with our De La Mar crew as they begin to, uh, as they begin the storm race on the Jordan uh, coast. Then Wednesday night we return for another round of the Gauntlet, where our challengers are really putting the screws to my monsters right now. And like I said, it's Hunter's Mark's time. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I, it's time. <laughs> it's time to make it spicy because you guys, you guys have been. Okay. Listen, we have to give them an opportunity to ri revive you. If your characters don't die, they can't revive you. Uh, I was this close to actual death last time. You were 20, close. 20, this close. 20, You're 28 this out of 29, uh -huh. you almost killed But everybody else had full health. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was the person. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. And then on Thursday, we return with another uh, episode of A Fox Tale. So if you enjoy this tonight, come back next Thursday to see how this leaves off. And I guarantee you, you're going to want to see it's going to be this one that is going to wrap up interestingly. Mm. So. I need to write it. My, my <laughs> on a piece of paper. So, um, let's see. <laughs> one more yeah, announcement that I have. Uh, we, we have to wish a very special birthday. To someone here in the room. Who is that? It is our very own James Wiley with thumbs. Look at the thumbs. Everybody wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't have to. He's no, you don't do have it. To. If you want, do it. If you want, do it. <laughs> you should. But do it. Do it. Do it. Happy birthday, buddy. So, and cheers to you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Not as satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You could have just let me reach. I have so, the. Don't worry, you know, my arm is right. That's his birthday. Let him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go let me do the work. <laughs> Thanks to Do You Want Some Coffee and Scare Music Man. Y'all have all been blessed up already. Oh, thank I you. I do oh. want some coffee. One more thing before we get started. Wait, for real? Because I have to make it <laughs> What does our snack time look like tonight? Uh, it's we so need slim, a jingle. But I did. He always says slim and then he pulls out like three bags. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a little bit. <laughs> Can you play a jingle on your little, uh, what's that? Columbia? Columbia? Oh, that was good. Is that what it's so called? The, the white cheesy popcorn? The white cheddar Ooh. popcorn. Nice, yeah. nice, okay. nice choice. Grab one. Wow. And then the, I had to eat these because I haven't had any of these in a long time. The, oh, that's nice. Like, the crispy, crispy marshmallow bricks. Mm. You know, okay. the the classic. Yeah, the kind that have like three elves that make the. Mm. Mm. I know. Those. Those. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering how to do it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, speaking of threes, I have the 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 three sword fighters or mm. the fencing. One whatever. for all. Yeah. And that, that's, I think that's it. Yeah. Even though last night it was like I went fighters, through everything really quick. Are you supposed to be eating the sword fighters? It, that it's is sort a, of. That is a great it's question. not new to this. <laughs> Mom, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not hide it. I'm looking out for you. I know you are. I appreciate it. <laughs> I just can't take it back to the store and uh, oh, go to waste. Worry. I know somebody <laughs> over here. Yeah. 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 I know a couple <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make it disappear, please. <laughs> uh, first of all, there's a lot of happy birthdays in the chat. Oh, so, and um, I would like to say to uh, Hollow says the meter should be at 11.25 percent. Yeah, uh, from the 1500. Yeah, so Hollow, there was an error with you were correct last night. That that bar was supposed to be up. For some reason, Streamlabs decided to not put it up last night. I thought we just hadn't put it on that overlay yet. And so everything that happened last night, unfortunately, did not get updated. And if we, we're trying to find a way to go through and manually fix it hmm. ourselves, and we haven't quite 
figured out how to do that yet. So, because every time, the only options we're, we're able to find right now is either to reset it and start over mm -hmm. or, or leave it. it. Yeah, so leave that's it. the only yeah. thing we can find. We're going to try and find a way to fix that though. Uh, however, I did miss the thousand bit points. So thank you for that. I have gone ahead and added those two <laughs> hunter's marks to our to our mascot over here. Uh, we love your support on this so. side of the wall. <laughs> All right. With that, everybody, speaking of what Lucky Jay said, my channel points are crazy high. Did I win the 20, that 20 against yesterday? You may, very well may have. Uh, I don't know because it doesn't tell me who I won. Uh, <laughs> However, speaking uh, of which, let's go ahead and start tonight with a prediction, everybody. Let's go ahead and I've get that prediction put on. How many oh, actual 20s come on. will be rolled in tonight's session? I mean, go ahead and put your channel points up. Don't forget any channel points that you win can be used in the gauntlet to help our challengers along. And I have decided I'm going to add some new things in there next week as well. Some little tiny biscuits. Biscuits. Mostly in favor of you guys. Okay. Well, so. Going to risk it for the biscuit? I see you, Triple Dub. Happy birthday, punches. Did you not know what happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> can we can we roll over it? Again? <laughs> no, no, yeah. What uh, what happened? Uh, you know, he got you know, hugged he got, aggressively. Yes, in my hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> With <too>. five fingers. <laughs> With Billy's. Five yeah. Did you get stuck? There? I did something that smacked his hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Missed the glasses. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Just, 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 there's another name that Lucky it. Jade threw in there. It's a critter tail. I saw that. Oh, one. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's where it is. That's where it is. Five to six. It's gonna be fun. I would like to know what that what what that is on your head, Billy. A gift from my daughter. Oh. <laughs> and so I an had to look hat. it up because I said, you know, I wore it all weekend. I'm going like, there may be some, you know, one of those Inside hidden. Jokes. Yeah, thing. I'm going like, <laughs> I might be the idiot walking around. <laughs> so I finally looked it up today, and it's a uh, nonprofit that's for the preservation of Southern food and Southern cooking. Oh. Oh. Well, that's cool. Is it, Not that is such a thing. Because that is something that we all love here. Yeah. 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 What is the sound? Uh, we have a long conversation about this. Yeah. Yeah. Make cornbread and not war. Jade, we something. need to make her cornbread. Uh -huh. she's Billy, never had nice southern cornbread. That good crispy yeah. that gives the crunch. Or black eyed peas. Oh, yeah, somebody was talking about black eyed peas. Does yeah. anybody do Hoppin' Johns? Oh, yeah. Y'all did Hoppin'? Did you make them this year? No, I mean, but I've done them. Yeah, what are those? What are it's like black eyed peas, onions, bacon. Bruh. People put a whole lot of bunch I of didn't know what this is. It's supposed know, to be no, like it's, good it's, luck, it's, eat them on good. Well, you're supposed to have black eyed peas for good luck. So we do, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we do yeah, the we black eyed peas, we do the pork, off. the the pork, the, the collard greens, and then cornbread. Right. Alabama. 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 <laughs> Alabama. But I've never heard of this. Hoppy Johns. Yeah. Hoppy Johns. I think it might be a New Orleans thing, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like a delicious thing. No. But I would be down to try. Hey, hey, Random says, now I want cornbread. Yeah. Randy Melody says, why did I miss this yesterday? I'm not updated. I don't know. Randy Melody, welcome in, though. Um, I, I don't know why you missed yesterday. We had the gauntlet yesterday evening. Replay is on. Uh, yeah, so the replay is on if you'd like yeah, to check, it out. Go check uh, it out. And we will yeah. be, as I said, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll be here all week next week, except Friday when I will be sleeping. So. <laughs> That's a good rest day. My Friday. eye will probably start twitching my Wednesday. <laughs> Rookie Blue, Rookie Blue, a big what with the exclamation, Jade's never had cornbread. Now listen, Jade has had cornbread, but but it's corn muffin. Corn muffin. And that's a hill corn that corn I will die on. Yeah. <laughs> it is not cornbread, it is corn muffin. Yeah. You guys, this literally like, isn't Vanessa and I have never, we've been together for, for go on 14 years now. And that entire time, the only thing that has ever brought us cl this close to separating was the debate between whether or not corn muffin is cornbread. Until I pulled out the box and it says corn muffin mix. Corn muffin. Not cornbread. Well, it says corn it's muffin. It's in the shape of bread. It's a muffin. You guys, should we get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, until I met you, I never had the crispy cornbread. Uh, the, the real cornbread. I didn't cornbread. know it existed. <laughs> the real cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> corn cornbread, right? A what? Corn pone? That's really good. Listen, I'm corn from Florida. Pump. Florida doesn't count. That's, it's the South. Yeah, it's yeah. like. It's its own little thing. Yeah, it's its yeah. own little. Yeah, it really is. Culture. We have a. Um, <laughs> Uh, cast iron oh, wait, mold. We've started something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At home, we have a cast iron mold that has little corn cobs, uh -huh. and you make oh. cornbread in it. And it's actual Ooh. cornbread. That's oh, cool. that's cute. That's yeah. cool. That's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's 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 like yeah. a super. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> very southern. <laughs> All right. Well, what's a corn pond? 
thing. Yeah, what, yeah, what is <laughs> that? that? It's the fried, the you know, like it's fried. Version? It's it's and it's you know it's very crisp. It's different than the you know oh, corn cake. Yeah. You know, that it, sounds like that what sounds you like, mean, cornbread. like the cornbread. That sounds like real cornbread. Where it's it's like. This I'm going to need you to whatever you're looking thing. up, just stop looking oh. up. It's cornbread. Or, yeah, that's what cornbread is. I am the DM. It is cornbread. <laughs> yeah, that's Make an intelligence check. Yeah, right. it's, to me, it's all in the matter of how crispy and how much it's not like cake. That's mm. corn muffin to me. Thank you. When it's cake. Yeah, corn muffins are usually delicious. more sweet. They are very You're not wrong. Oh, well, I think we can all agree on one thing. Yeah, both. We love it's it. all delicious. It's I, will eat, I will eat corn muffin, cornbread yeah. together, separate, different. I will eat it all day long. You didn't eat any on New Year's. I was the only one who ate the corn muffin. Because oh. I had cornbread. I ate it. <laughs> I ate it. Hey, Hunter, what happened last time? <laughs> I think that we should start tonight's session. <laughs> That's where I felt like a fat ass because I was literally the only person who ate both. I ate the cor- two corn muffins and cornbread. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you just gotta use lots of butter. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was gonna say. As long as you got oh, a stick of butter, you're good with whatever you put in front of you. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's go Roll ahead and shove it in. I would lose. I would have been, she's level 20. Yeah, I'm like yeah. a measly I'm just a level CR1. One. She would ruin it. I'm a townsfolk. I don't even have yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my reach? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. Got that bugberry. <laughs> Corky Bandit says a cooking stream next, please. That's been a that's actually been a subject to conversation. Is doing a blue cottage D and D cooking in cooking in the tavern. So that's something that might might be on the list coming soon. So I be on the lookout, so. Corky Bandit. Bruise and cheese. Bruise and cheese. Right. Right. So one more thing about the cornbread, because John the Jersey Devil said that he is here with his boy. Welcome oh, in, Jersey Devil like and boy Jersey home. Devil. No, I forgot that. They said they had a pino cornbread. Yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish again. this was Willy Wonka, right. and he could just <laughs> through the camera. That would be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. smell of the yeah. Gym, yeah. Gym. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Before we get off on another another tangent about food, because we'll talk food all night. We from the south, y'all. We love food. Let's go ahead and jump into tonight's session with a quick recap. Hot sauce. <laughs> with Don't a start quick me on a recap, because uh, it's been it's been two weeks, hasn't it? So yeah, let's uh, let's refresh our memories a bit on what happened <laughs> last time, which mostly involved Tim running with Bobo through the alleys oh, of Sand Haven. Yeah. Bobo was your oh he was, grace. he was your he was your he was your he steed was the, he was the uh, <laughs> he carried your donkey or like a like a, a damsel in distress <laughs> he's a goat okay <laughs> he's an <laughs> orange I just knew he was, he could jump orange. and he was slow and he would eat trash so he, okay I did good I remember at least those few things yeah he, he just not his entire character yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my eyes I can see him. <laughs> last we left off you all. Uh, you had found yourself, Tim. The rest of the, the rest of your party was waiting for you to bring Bobo back to the uh, to the midnight to the moonlit mirage, where you were supposed to sneak a or try to get him to take the map back to Zaktu, the map that you had all pilfered mm-hmm. off of his person. Um, however, Zaktu sent one of his magical henchmen after you, a Dao genie, that uh, rose up out of the sand and struck out at you, trying to get the map back. Bobo quickly scooped you up in his arms and carried you to safety as you both took off running down the alleyways. Safety meaning, you know, being being variable there. Uh, as you left your glaive behind, stabbed in the Dow's chest, uh, you rushed back to the midnight, uh, the, the, good lord. I Not the midnight <laughs> train. You came the 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 I'm yeah. saying midnight. I keep wanting to say midnight. To the Bobo came yeah, up, crashing down the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so you came, you returned back to the Moonlit Mirage to rejoin your party and tell them what happened. Uh, amidst all of this, uh, this occurrence, you were, uh, Bobo took his leave and during this time, Bag was able to slip the map, the fake map that you had forged mm-hmm. then mixed everything up on back into his pocket. So now you have the real map of Zepidos, but you still don't know how to get there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but you do have the map at the very least. So you slipped that map back into his pocket, Bobo took his leave, and then the tavern erupted <laughs> as the Dow approached and tore the inside of the tavern to pieces, leaving a message in the sand for you that said, you have something I want, let's make a deal. 
She met you out in the alleyway behind the tavern and where she said that you have a genie on your person and she wants it. She wants it to set her free. Uh, Bag remembered that he had in fact found a small <laughs> bottle with a red cork, with a red gem stopper on the top of it uh, that he put in his pocket and forgot about like 20 sessions ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you... <laughs> Refusing to give over this genie, uh, you teleported out of the way while <laughs> Wiley pulled a full-on Batman uh, from, a top, from the rooftop, <laughs> pouncing down on top of the down, slamming her on top of the head with his, with his crook staff. The battle commenced, during which, Bag, you unstoppered the genie bottle and released the Afriti within, uh, using its power to assist you in overcoming the Dao. After which, the Dao retreated beneath the sand, uh, seemingly to return to her master, and the Afridi told you that you have two more uses of his powers. That for once you release him, he will do whatever you ask for one hour, and then after the second, after the third use, he will disappear. <coughs> this is wrong. You also discovered that he was brought here by Alistair, oh, yeah, the, the oh, lich that, that you have in your pocket. <clears throat> that sounds bad. So, yeah, <laughs> probably he is. Great. He's a buddy of ours. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, I kind of explained it a little bit. So the Afriti returned into the bottle, and you all decided to continue your journey exploring around town a little bit. And then, as you're making your way back to the Moonlit Mirage, you ran into Sylvie's parents as they look across the way, as they were arguing about something in the street, and then they turned across the way and said, Sylvie? Hello? And that is where we're going to pick up tonight's <laughs> session. Mom. So, allow me to go ahead and change our lights and our music. I'll just realize that I need the tubes of you opened up the tubes for this of you. particular music. Yes. Might have to change accounts too. I do. I do indeed. After turning your accounts. <coughs> Happy New Year, chat. I haven't gotten to sell that to you guys yet. Oh, yeah. Happy oh, New yeah, Year. Yeah, this is your first stream back. My first stream back yeah. in 2024. Happy He's back. He's living in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so. Turn you off. Turn you off. 29 or 30 now? 28. 28? I was like, what did I run down? I just did it. Session? <clears throat> Should be I 29. Got 20, 29. 29. 29. 29. 29. 29. Yeah. So, I was like, years old? <laughs> as you, I'm way past that. As uh, Sylvia, as you kind of approach uh, your parents, they come, they run in and give you this big embrace here, <gasps> kind of pick you up. What are you doing here, dear? A seeking? Isn't that what I'm supposed to be doing? What do you mean? A deep, your mom punches your daddy. Ow! Did you forget? <clears throat> Listen, I told you whatever she wanted to do is up to her. No, and she's... I told you if if we left her alone for just one time, she was going to become a seeker just like your daddy. And now look at it. <sighs> did you guys forget? What do you mean did we forget? Well, when I left. We weren't there, dear. Did you forget that we were off on a, on a traveling? This is the first time we've left you home alone. Oh, yeah. Surprise! <laughs> I forgot. I... Have you been concerned? I hope not. I've been okay. Um, I made some f friends. Yeah. Um, hello. Hello. I said don't be weird. Hello. Thank you. Father got uh, Hi. Got Hi. Well, I mean, you know. I mean, you know, it's, it's all right. Small hey, listen, you know I'm these. proud of you, dear. Oh, I, do, I need you to follow in my dad's footsteps. Yeah. I imagine you'd be, a good, you'd be a great seeker too. I think and, uh, and of course, we already know most of these folk. Tim, town guard, yeah. It's good yeah. to see you again, Tim. Um, Prowler's kid, right? Why? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you are, sir. I remember seeing you around town, but I, I don't think. Bag digging ten at your service! <sighs> I, it's a pleasure to meet you. He's an actor. On live stage. Yes. I see you. Actor and, uh, and a seeker. Wonderful. Do it all. He seeks to be an actor. Hmm. What are you doing here in San Haiti? Well, dear, we were, uh, we were dropping off our... We, we brought some wares here. This is part of our route. Uh, you never come with us this far. We've been, you know, it's always been a little too dangerous to bring you with us. So 
we would always leave you back in Riverwood Bend whenever we'd make this route. But mm. we just uh, we're doing quite well actually, uh, well enough that we we bought ourselves a couple of monitors to draw to draw the carriage. Uh, uh, speckle and sprinkle. About that. And speckle and sprinkle. Mm -hmm. I like those names. I do too. And you see, your, your dad just kind of roll his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I heard you were getting in trouble. What'd you do? Listen, here, no, mm -hmm. I wasn't getting into trouble. You see, your mother just misunderstood. Mm -hmm. I didn't misunderstand a damn thing. I saw your eyes wondering if they wander like that again, I'm gonna pluck them out. He just got. Oh, oh. You see, is like out of nowhere, she pulls a spoon out of a pocket, and he, she she like kind of waves in his face. He's like. I mean, listen, I always say, it's just, it, was a, it was a waitress. She brought us some drinks. You know, we were at the casino, we did well today. And so, you know, we went over to the to the Mermaid's Oasis and tried to make a little extra cash and, you know, we broke even. There's a casino there? They kind of look at each other. Yeah, there's a casino there. I missed that. Did yeah. you know that? <laughs> what did you think it was? Um, um, a different kind of establishment. <laughs> <laughs> the kind that you don't, you know, frighten out with people you know about, you know. Is that what it is, really? I thought it was a strip club. <laughs> yeah, that's closer. <laughs> well, the way your father treated it, it might as well have been. Mm. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a casino, dear. I mean, I'm sure okay. that you can get into all kinds of trouble over there if you ask the right person, but yeah. we... Most folks just go to spend a little well-earned coin and hopefully gain a little in return. Well, where are you staying? Well, we're staying here, just to kind of gesture towards the, the Moonlit Mirage. Oh, we are too. We got a room here. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, yeah. well, maybe we can spend some time together a bit and get caught up. It's, it's good. Have you, have, you, have you found your first astral yet, at least? Oh, uh, we found two. Two? two? We found a couple. Yeah, yeah a couple. Two already. Yeah. Well, you said we it's like... dangerous. You underestimate your daughter here. She saved our lives yeah, a couple she, times. She mm -hmm. did wonderfully. I look forward to hearing these yeah. stories then. Did a bad Insight flip check. off of that. <laughs> 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 Inside check. No, not a natural one. Okay. All right, all I got to do is not. Ah, <laughs> natural two. <laughs> That's an eight. Okay. Uh, that's right. An eight off of a natural. Yep. That is that insight is high. Yeah. That is crazy. Am I doing? Either dece deceiving or persuading. I mean, you were correct. Adam up just reminded me that you, they didn't know you were a seeker. My bad. That's okay. That's me. Yeah, guys, this this is the, I, the, I run a lot of campaigns here. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that reminder, though, Adam. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my charisma zero. <laughs> Mine's not seven. Didn't <laughs> the, <cop> <laughs> <laughs> the cops let you? Fifteen on mine. Oh, nice. I mean, yep. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, maybe we hmm. should make our way in. It's a little late. Maybe we can get a nightcap and all get caught up then. It sounds good. I think the uh, bar's broken. Yeah. But Oh, yeah, it is kind of in shambles. Is there another place to get a drink? Oh, well, I mean, we could always go back to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just saying... The hole is getting bigger. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> there is... Yeah. In fact, the Mermaid's Oasis does deal in drinks, but it's very loud there. But, you know, if you'd like to get caught up, we suppose we could go back. We're both sitting at a different table. Mm, he must have really done something. I didn't do anything. You're idling your too I, long, didn't they? Listen, you I was I was looking is. at I was looking at the this I, I was watching with this voice and she just happened to be right there in the middle of it. You look at the floor. I I believe you. I'm on your side. Thank you. At least someone is <laughs> going out on here. Anyways. Was she flirting with you? I bet it's her job though. Make tips. She kinda he just kinda looks down at your mom. She looks up at him. I, I wouldn't know, to be honest with you. I mean, I, you That's know, it's, you know, you know, the only one who fought for me anymore is is your dear old mother here. Did you just say old? Well, th tell me about them lizards. <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> it was really interesting in those white heads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, they do. They've yeah. got uh, so they've got roulettes. They've got lizard racing. They've got uh, counting stars. They've got all kinds of games there. Oh, these but are the lizard games. racing, I, that's a lot of fun. Did you win the lizards? I won once. Lost three times. No, I said it to win the lizards. You oh no, lizard no, no, games, no, no, racing or something. No, no, no. We didn't. We didn't win the lizards. We uh, bought lizards. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is that sort of like 
for us to be wandering around. So, <laughs> uh, that genie in your pocket was pretty strong. Just yeah. Him out. I, don't, yeah. I don't think the stone lady's gonna be back. Cool. Not too for a while. Anyway. Let's go then. Let's go get a drink. Race some lizards. Okay. What time? What, about what well, time? It's probably ten thirty-ish. It's pretty late. Ten thirty, eleven o'clock. It's pretty mm-hmm. late. Um, but as you look around, there's still a lot of folks out and about. Like I said, the city does not, this particular city doesn't go quiet. Uh, so it just gets louder as the night progresses. Do I see any fennec foxes around? Lots. <laughs> they never disappear. Well, it doesn't matter to me. We yeah. can get a drink in the Moonlight Mirage or go to the Mermaid's Oasis. Does it look like the bar's open inside? Uh, it's kind of like peek in. You do see there's there's a handful of people still inside. Uh, the sand cat that runs the place is still back behind the bar. You notice he's got a few bar hands kind of currently putting tables back together in the middle of it. Seems like he is still serving drinks, but he looks a little grumpy about it. Like this whole ordeal is looking like it's going to cost him a lot of money. What ordeal? Hmm? Nothing. The whole... No, what are you saying? Stone lady crashing up from the Making a message. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're gonna need repairs. But it was not our fault. Not our fault. We didn't do that. You yeah. never met the lady in our life. No, 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 no. There's nothing to connect us. Mm-hmm. No. Sure. Now, who's this stone lady you're talking about? Come on, let's go inside. Let's yeah, go inside. we'll, we'll tell you all about it. you. Yeah. Yeah. So you make your way into uh, into the moonlit barrage and you have a seat. The uh, the bartender comes around, and gives you your drinks, and you spend the next. Uh, bit of time regaling them of stories of your ventures for the past few months. Do you do you explain everything that's happened or do you leave some things out? <laughs> everything except happen? for my home wrecking. Okay, so we don't talk about the mass property amounts of property damage, damage yeah. that Sylvia's uh, has, no, has, 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 has incurred. Wait, 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 <laughs> tell them about, about the what? lich in the pocket. The what? The lich in the pocket. No. Okay, that's all I'm going to make sure. <laughs> That would terrify me. I'm sorry, what's this about a witch in a pocket? Oh, you know. And that That's swamp. what they call me, because I'm pocket-sized, and the things that I do are witchy. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do see the witchiness, dear, but I, I don't know in what kind of pocket you're going to fit in. As a red fox, you pretty stand a little taller than most folk. Match back? Do you? One of us has it. I don't know who has it. Bag of holding. Me. I've never had the bag. Oh, you, you have <laughs> yeah. that pocket. <laughs> yeah, this one. Hey, watch this. Now I'm gonna stick. Oh, is that one of those little bag of holding thingies? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Watch. <clears throat> you just like it. dive into <laughs> yeah. it. It's getting pocket sized. Gonna pick it up and shake it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, don't close it because I don't know if I can breathe in here. You let the witch out of the pocket. <laughs> Dump it out. Dump her out. She goes tumbling out into the floor. Well. Ta-da! <laughs> so, where's your next adventure to them? Where are you? Where, where are you headed next? Um, that's a good question. I guess we need to figure out where some more astrals are, right? Yeah. Big yes. astrals. Because yeah. we are seekers. Yeah. Definitely seekers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe. Why did you say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of feeding off the vibe in the group. I just, yeah, well, I'm confused. Maybe we should check and see if there's an observatory here. Oh, there's there's an an observatory. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm glad, to, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, dear. Uh, do you need anything for your journey? I mean, your mother and I, we got to leave out first thing in the morning. Where are you uh, going? Uh, New Barkton, south of here. Uh, we make it around. We always New head Barton. over to Huntington Farms, and then we make our way down south to North Mutant, back here to trade and honey and glass, uh, trade honey for glassware, which we did very well this time. Yeah. Take the glassware back down to uh, New Barkton, trade it for fried goods, spices, foods, and other things from the coast. And then back to Riverwood Bend. Can you take this back to the farms for me? I'm gonna give him back the beekeeper suit. The beekeeper suit? I think I kept that. Oh, yeah, I can take this back to Huntington. 
Yeah. So you came through there then? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, that's right. You just told me this whole story. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm we told you a lot. Tonight. Told you a lot, yeah. That takes it like packs of. Not wrong. So, how much does a jar of honey, you know, fetch around these parts? Well, it kind of depends on who you're trading with, but uh, we trade it for glassware. So, if you get a jar of honey, you can usually get vases, you can get uh, bottles, a variety of other things. One jar of honey, we can usually, the way I work it out, we can usually get a case full of wine bottles mm. to take down a new Barton, where they use it to pour their wine, of course, and seal it up. So, smart. Very smart. I don't think I need anything. Do you need anything? Do you guys need anything? Do we need anything? What do your parents got? What you we got? We need something the parents. We just need to know if there's like any unusual traders you come across. Unusual traders? Um, well, there's a couple of strange ones in the bazaar. Uh, that Madame Jazeera is always a weird one, but um, I see folks coming in and out of her tents quite often. Um, stay away from the carpet salesman. Those rugs aren't worth shit. Okay, mm. good to know. I bet that's the one that kept trying to get you. I told you not to look him in the eye. Um, the weaponsmith, if you're seekers, you're probably going to want to get some, some good weapons. Mm -hmm. Now, the weaponsmith here in Sandhaven, Smith, excuse me, the dealer, he's probably one of the best that we've seen in terms of acquiring goods. A lot of seekers come through this part of the world, so uh, he's got some of the best goods that you can find. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was here. Um, I had to find him. What's Did his name? Uh, his name is... He's a dealer, he's not a uh, smith. Bochi. 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 Oh, so he doesn't enchant things, he just sells them. He just sells them, yeah. Oh. But most of them are already enchanted. He deals in a lot of magic weapons. Hmm. Maybe he'll have a staff. That's primarily what I use. Hmm. But it's not super common. Want to go there tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See what he has, maybe we can, maybe we have something we can trade him, you know, be like your parents and trade this for that, you know? Yeah. Sounds like they make a good living at it. Mm-hmm. Got lizards for it. Got a couple monitors out of it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, no. All right. To answer what? your question. Do you guys need anything? No, I think we're quite all right, but thank you, Mr. Bag. I appreciate that. Um, I, I think we're doing quite well stuff. for ourselves, and we're just, uh, Ready to make our way south in the morning. Like I said, very ready to get back home for a bit. I think that this is going to be our last trip for a while. I think um, so. It's, uh, it takes time we slow down a bit, you know? And also, now that you're seeking, it sounds to me like you'll be making plenty enough coin to provide for our little family. Of course. So, but, um. Do you need any right now? Well, no, dear. We're quite all right. Okay. Just make sure. And she kind of looks. The only thing I think we need right now is maybe a new pair of eyes for your father. Oh, um, <laughs> Ones that don't walk off so often. Mm. Oh. Mm. Can't I don't have anything for that. <laughs> speaking of eyes, though. speaking of eyes, did y'all see any of uh, the withering in your travels? Oh, well, yeah, we are. We, we came across a pretty big, uh, pretty big wave of it just outside of uh, North Mutant. Mm. We had to sit idle for several days until it passed. Hmm. Do they carry astrals, your parents? Do y'all carry astrals? We do. We've got quite a lot yes. of them on our carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. Did you happen to find any of those books I was looking for on your travels? What? Dude, you're asking Which me? books are you talking about, dear? Like, you know, the Heaven Book Collection. Uh-huh. Those books? Yeah. Like you mean like these books? Yeah, like yeah. The reaches around in his pack and he pulls out a stack of like four books. Ah, thank you. I think those are his spicy books. <laughs> thank and you. Dad would give his daughter. Yeah. Hope they, uh, hope they enjoy them. <laughs> they must have pictures. He doesn't even know what's in them. Should I know what's in them? Huh? <laughs> Should I know what's in them? In what? You know what? Never mind. It's too late to deal with this. <laughs> Did I see any titles on any of those books? Make a perception check. <laughs> Ooh, I did. 21. 21? <laughs> okay. Let me find my uh, smut <laughs> section. <laughs> my adult section. <laughs> 
So can't wait. One of them was titled "The Cat's Meow." <laughs> <laughs> Cats and foxes. And the other one on the spine of the book that you noticed is uh, a taste for reptiles. <laughs> Damn, you funky. <laughs> <laughs> Got a News new, to me. <laughs> new found respect for you, Sylvie. You're more alike than I thought. What did what, what, you, what'd you see, Bag? She likes uh, things with tails. Oh. Everything's got a tail like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so, so I'll stick with that. She likes things with tails. tails. Well, like a foxtail. Like a foxtail. Like a foxtail. <laughs> reptiles <laughs> and cats. Oh, reptiles. You like that alligator or something? That's what? what she was getting close to it, I think. No. Oh, she did. She was... Wait, what are you talking about? She didn't run away when you all ran away. No, not, not, what's he talking about? What are you talking about? Nothing. I'm making a mental note of that. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. So. Well, dear, I suppose that we need to probably go on to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow, and okay. it is pretty late. It is, yeah. Um, we should probably do this game, I guess. I guess so. Unless you guys want to go out again. I don't think I've did enough sights. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am okay with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen enough garbage for a while. I'm gonna pull off the hell wasp stinger and say, "You guys think I can get anything for this?" Takes a look at it. Damn, what kind of beastie did you get that off of? Yes. Um. Yeah. I mean, take it to the market, trade it to uh, honestly something like that. Take it to the Jazir lady. <laughs> Guarantee you, she'll probably be able to take care of it. Do something with it. Think oh, she, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go back. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> she and I have a history. I don't think there's much that walks that he doesn't have some kind of history with. I think she stung him. She did what? <laughs> <laughs> I was in here for all of this. What? You got to... <laughs> That's hell for another time. All right, all right. Did you... All these tails tonight. <laughs> and none of us getting any. Mm. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. I'm glad Wiley doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you would have some confidence. So. Bed. We need rest. <laughs> yeah, we get so. punchy. You all... Settle in for your long night's rest. Um, should we keep watch? There's a big lady that's coming after you. Do we get two rooms? Two rooms, yeah. What kind of big lady? You saw her. Oh, same girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah same girl. Yeah. Same right. big lady. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, I guess okay. so. Okay. Who wants to room together? I'm going Tim and Bag should obviously get a room together. Okay. We gotta respect their privacy. Yeah. Bobo's carried both of us. It's just and the things they like to do mm -hmm. in the night. Their proclivities. <laughs> uh, you gotta watch <laughs> out for that one. That's what I meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I don't know. These two are weird. Get Let's go, right? Tim. I mean, don't we just when we sleep, you know? Yeah, I don't know what they do in their room. Yeah, they sleep together, right? Mm-hmm. And tail. So, who's taking the first watch? Uh, I'll do it. You can go first. Yeah. All right. So, um, Sylvia, as you go to your room, a little while passes, and then you hear a knock on the door. Oh crap, Wally! Is that what's happening? All right, hold up. Where am I? We're in the room. We're in the room. Oh. Yeah, you're in the room. And okay, so we're we're four taken. So one person is watching for all four of us. Yeah. yeah. At the moment. So okay. Well, the one person is so watching. It. I'm so gonna watch go get it. Quick question: Where are you watching from? So the rooms are yeah. kind of up the stairway. There's a long hallway with all the rooms on either side, and then there's the tavern downstairs. There seems to be one entrance that leads into the room area. Do you want to watch? Do you have it into the? Like, there's one entrance in the hallway that leads. Do to we all have rooms. a connecting? Do we have connecting rooms? No, it's just okay. but they're pretty close together. And I'll oh. sit outside in the hall. Okay, so you sit as you sit outside in the hall, you do watch as Sylvie's father comes back. Like, he gets out of his room, he leaves, and he comes back a little while later with uh, what appears to be like a box that's covered in a cloth, a piece of cloth. 
and he's got a <clears throat> knocks on her door. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> Hello? As you open up the door, I didn't want to bring him out with all the all the folk downstairs, but um thought you might want to see. She kinda of, like <gasps> takes the uh, the top off and you see you see little picket she kind of flutter up out of this little box. Hey, you see he's gonna just start like quickly uh, fl uh, flies to you and begins to swirl around you for a moment. The wind picks up uh, is this little, uh, this, this little, uh, it is a uh, sylph, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This little sylph kind of settles, this little wind fairy settles on your shoulder and just kind of nuzzles up against you. Oh, oh well, well, good to see you. I told you it was real. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, look, look. I'm sleeping. No, no. <laughs> No, you won't believe me otherwise. Yeah, okay. Look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Open your eyes. As you open your eyes, eyes, there's this tiny little fairy looking back at you. It's got these deep black eyes, this kind of bluish skin. Uh, it looks, it sh as it shifts, it melds with the air. You, you stole this from the, the colony? No, he's mine. That one's your, that one's yours. Yes. That's the one you keep in secret. Yeah. Okay. Well, people like... Obviously, we saw they like yeah, to steal them. Yeah, they them, like so. to steal them. Okay. So, yeah, so, you know. I thought maybe you want to let him sleep with you tonight. Oh, yeah. Are you going to take him back with you tomorrow? I think it's for the best. Yeah, here. it is. I know. I just miss him so much. I know. Yeah. Why don't you keep him? No, I can't. It's dangerous. Have you seen the stuff that we do? Would, do, would you trust Bag around him? <laughs> you can trust me around him. <laughs> I love little creatures. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I've been out of the hole with <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had one on his helmet, shooting a ballista. So we get along. That's true. Hey, little yeah. buddy. Yeah. 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 She kind of like reaches out and just what like he saying? just grabs him. He's saying, "Hi, hi, hi, hi." So friend of Sylvie. Yes. <laughs> mm. Makes me sad. You can talk to him. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll just keep believing that I understand what you say. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. What he said was, "It's okay. I can't understand you either." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Okay, yeah. let's come on. Gotta shut the door and take him Thanks, inside. Papa. See you in the morning, dear. Okay. Yeah, takes the box and disappears down the hallway to his room. Hey, hey, hey! What yeah. was that waitress's name? <laughs> you know. I'm gonna get in trouble for this. You should speak a word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Betty. 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 Got it. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of makes his way past you and makes his way down. Not a word. Not a word. You'll die. What word? Not by me. I can't speak. Yep. <laughs> Turns around, walks down the hallway. Before we go to bed, I want to Druid craft a little uh, bed of like rose petals for Pickett to sleep on. Okay. He's so cute. All right. Yeah. He's gone. Where's, where's that bed gonna be? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so a wild so sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smack him. So, did you all settle in for your long night's rest? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that your watches go unimpeded. Yay! Yay. The benefits of a long rest. Uh, the reason your watches go unimpeded is because that Afridi beat the ever living hell out of that now. <laughs> yeah. So. Yes, hell yeah. So you all get the benefits of a long rest and nice. welcome to level eight, everybody. Yeah. You go level eight. It's good to be here. So. If you have any questions about the stat block, I'm behind. So you know it is what it is. Mm -hmm. We're level eight now, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fix it tomorrow. We, yeah, it's tough. It's tough keeping track of all of it, but I'm, yeah. I'm so happy that you. I'm doing oh, my best. Me, that you do. Because I certainly don't, don't remember to do it. Mm -hmm. So, as you all awaken the next morning, um, you begin to make your way downstairs. Uh, uh, as you, as you kind of. Make your way into the tavern property. There's a handful of people in here. They seem to have mostly cleaned up the mess that Dal made in the in the puff in the uh, the tap room, uh, but most of it is still. They pretty much put some ropes around that sick hole that was left behind. Kind of stagger the tables around them safely. Uh, you do see your parents sitting at a table currently as they see you all, see you approach. They kind of give you a wave. Um, What's for breakfast? 
Oh, well, we're having some, uh, what are, we're having some eggs and a uh, little bit of uh, lizard bacon. Oh, Ooh, don't tell the lizards. Well, yeah. <laughs> you want some of that? No, no, I was thinking, the, yeah, I want breakfast here, but not, not more lizard. I want lizard. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a little bit of lizard. So you're you're to lizard? Is that a new thing, or? I'm just thinking, you know, and if, uh, I'll have lizard bacon if it makes you happy. Yes. So, <laughs> lizard bacon. So, you eat your breakfast, enjoy it. Um, as you finish up, your parents at this point, they kind of stand and say, well, there, I suppose it's time for us to hit the road. Okay. Your mother kind of, I must say, I'm very proud of you, dear. Thank you. I've got to admit, I, um, you know, I, I didn't quite think that you'd be, I was kind of hoping that you'd walk in your father and I's footsteps, but I'm glad to see you found yourself a group worth, worth fighting for and with. Now y'all listen to me, three of you. You look at me right now, boys. If anything happens to my daughter, she pulls out the spoon. Remember what I can, I can scoop out more than eyeballs with this, all right? Oh. You just remember that. So y'all better take care of her. I love you. <laughs> no. She says, <kind> of <laughs> she, t- she sticks the spoon back in her pocket and uh, you're, yeah, so they kind of give you a hug and her dad kind of pulls out the box and he... Okay, gotta go now. Well, Piggy kind of... I love you. Kind of like hugs you. I miss you. I miss you too, I don't know what you said. Say <laughs> like goodbye. He said he misses you. Oh. He kind of flutters down See to the later. box and her dad covers it up gently. And the two of them begin to walk out. <sighs> okay. So. So they make their way out of the tavern. Um, what would you all like to do? Um, we gotta figure out how to get to Zepidos. Observatory? Yeah, maybe they would know. What did you just say? Observatory. Observatory. Yes. Mm-hmm. Biggest tower in the town. Thanks for behaving yourselves while they were there. Oh, yeah, I, I can't. You. you know, she actually knows my family. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad <laughs> if I get home and, you know. I It'd was just tired. Us. Yeah. <laughs> just tired. <laughs> so. You're being awfully quiet, Tim. I mean, we're gonna go to the photo and then uh, I wouldn't mind going to this weapon dealer, you know, watch you. Are you kind of bummed out? You didn't get to go into the mermaid oasis? We can still go there. No, well, it's I'm a casino, him. so what does it, uh, never mind. Casinos always have a back room. I'm within the casino, I just heard, you know, what Never? they said. No, have you, are y'all went to casinos? No. No, I I am against gambling because it stresses me out. Well, I gamble with stuff that you can just take. I've um, been to a casino. It's fun. <laughs> Where'd you Did go? you lose your money? I, a little bit. I made some money, I lost some money, stole okay. some money, had a good time. Mm-hmm. Maybe. The last yeah. part. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> So. To the observatory. Yeah. Right. Observatory. So you make your way out of the uh, the moonlit uh, moonlit mirage. You make your way north, headed towards the observatory. Can I see if we're being followed? Make a perception check. That is pretty good. That is a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Nice. So as you make your way out of the moonlit mirage, it doesn't take too long for you to pick it up, Sylvie. He sly, sly. Very, I mean, you you almost wouldn't pick up on him because he blends in his, his, with the rest of the crowd. There's so many fennec foxes scattered about, but there's this one in particular that just keeps following you, and you recognize him by the sound of his flipping sandals as they kind of in the, in the sand. They make a little bit of a plop sound as you kind of glance over your shoulder. You see as he's keeping his distance from you, but he is staying, keeping pace with you. It is one of the Fennec Foxes from the Sandals hideout, the one that was shouting at the dancer on stage, the very mm-hmm. loud, belligerent one. Okay. Garrick? Um, hold on. <laughs> so down, maybe. You did start with a G. Mm-hmm. Zach oh, no, I didn't. I didn't no, that's the leader. Yeah, Zach 2 is the Reshop. leader. Reshop. 
No. Risha, the dancing. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll quit. <laughs> 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 you wanted Risha. I just wrote down a bunch of stuff. Okay. Now remember me. Heads up. We're being followed. <gasps> yeah. It's the, one of those Finnick foxes. The one that was yelling at the dancer. Oh. I don't think he's very smart, but he is. No, he no, is he's not very too. smart. I wasn't calling this. Do you want to lose it? Well, um, because of the whole map where you know what's up to, you know? We don't know if Bobo actually got the, the map. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think. What? What a loser? Do we want to corner? Yeah, yeah. do we want to? We can try and so, lose him. <clears throat> okay. Give him the run around. Yeah, I mean, so we can really just confront him. Yeah, yeah, we can hop down this alley and then catch him. Yeah, okay. You do that? Sure. All together? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Four against one, we should win. Right? Do <laughs> leave us alone or? Otherwise, we'll scoop his eyeballs out. Do a spoon, spoon mm-hmm. business. <laughs> How about you, you, you three go in the alleyway. I'll continue forward and find a, a vantage point. Okay. Better in the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're shifting forward. Mm-hmm. These three are going down an alleyway to try mm-hmm. and leave moisture. You're splitting, essentially kind of splitting up. You're going to continue down. I wonder what's down this alley over here. Huh. Thank you for the check. Something smells really good. Yeah. You look like your dog. 23. 23. So <laughs> as you, you say this, you kind of turn to the side. The two of you follow behind Bag. You continue forward. Wiley, mm-hmm. uh, Wiley, as you shift forward, make a perception check for me. You're going to love this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Natural 20. Natural hey, 20. Hey, hey, baby. First one of the night. Nice. One that's one out of the night. Make such a noise. Yeah. Dunk. Dunk. So, Sadly. as you Sadly. kind of, Screw you're looking for a good right. vantage point. You you do go down as you they disappear down an alleyway. You walk mm-hmm. over to the next alleyway. And you can <clears> see there's a little stairway. Most of the buildings here are one or two stories. Mm-hmm. They're not difficult to climb. You do see where there's like this set of uh, clothes lines that are kind of hanging across down this alleyway. There's mm-hmm. a, some crates down below, there'd be a quick climb. As you glance over your shoulder to watch where this individual's going, you see as he keeps tabs on these three as they shift down that alleyway, he looks around for a moment, and then melts and disappears into the sand. The figure that was following him. He disappears into the sand. As the three of you turn around, you get down the alleyway, and you wait and make stealth checks for me. Oh, ooh. or no, 21. Okay. As the three of you kind of shift down this alleyway, you turn around, you get behind some crates, some barrels, you get behind the corner of another building, and you just wait to jump this guy. Mm-hmm. What are you doing, Wally? I'm going to... Uh, how far away am I from them? Uh, at this point, roughly 60, 70 feet. Uh, and I'm on top of the or building? 60, 70 feet from that alley, but not on top of the building yet. Okay. You saw him vanish as they rounded that corner before you get to the okay. top of the building. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 60 feet, so what's my movement? Movement is... Okay, 30. So, yeah, I would... I would uh, we're in a crowd, right? Mm-hmm. 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 We're in a crowd. I'm going to... Uh, Take, take, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to uh, 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 rip off uh, a piece of cloth from some, somewhere. can I find a stall or something? There or, was a lot, like, like a, I just yeah. saw the clotheslines hanging rip, across yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll rip off some, just some cloth. Run over, rip yeah, off yeah, someone's yeah. shirt. Yeah, and I'm gonna uh, um, I'll stick it inside an oil flask, and then I'm gonna light it. Are you gonna it. make a Molotov cocktail? Yes, yes I am, and <laughs> I'm gonna light it. And then I'm gonna uh, um, uh, uh, climb up onto the roof and throw it on the, the roof of the alleyway that they're at. All right, it's gonna take you some time to do this. Yes. So go ahead and make as, a dex check for me. As fast as I can. Uh, dex check. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, all right, all right. Oh God, we're about to do property damage again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. It's not Sylvia this time. Yes, uh, it's not me. Yet, I guess. Yeah. I like to the hold an action. I want to jump out and grab the next Phoenix Fox that comes by. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, that's a, uh, so I just use my dexterity modifier, no... Yeah, just dex check. Okay, 18. 18? Yeah. As quickly as you can, you rip this off, you kind of soak it in some oil, make a cocktail, and uh -huh. to begin to climb as quickly yeah. as, quickly as yeah. you can to the top. Mm -hmm. As you're doing that, you three, round the corner here, and you get ready to, uh, to pounce on this guy. I got my staff, and I'm going to catch you lately on it. All right, so you guys are getting ready. You're down, you're waiting. Bag. You hear this voice behind you. Hey man, who are we waiting on? Who are we gonna jump? This, this stupid fucking fox. Oh man, I hate fucking foxes. I hate fucking shit. Who is this guy? <laughs> you gotta turn around and you see he's literally like right behind you. And then you hear. <laughs> you look up and you see smoke. They're coming from all sides! I just, oh man, fireworks are starting early today. I love it! We're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> That's we're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> oh God! Who is, who is that guy? <laughs> who is, who is that? Oh, he's, you know. he's kin to uh, say hello to Gilly. Ah, oh, Gilly. Gilly! Gilly the Doom Walker. Mm. So, the Doom Walker. <laughs> Sounds like huh? a show. Do we know Gilly. <laughs> he was the guy who was screaming at the dancer. Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna take a quick break, everybody. Uh, we're gonna hit the restroom and make some, uh, make some, make some drinks, and we'll be back in about Gilly ten minutes. Chong. Gilly, Gilly Chong. Gilly Chong. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, John the Jersey Devil, hey, thank you so me. much for subscribing, hey. buddy. Thank you so much for your resubscription and for being part of the stream. Also, would like to note that thanks to Skinner Music Man, everybody has been re-blessed. So, y'all yes. have been blessed. Oh. Too. So, uh, guys, we're going to be taking a quick break. So, we're going to be hanging out in the chat. Please stick around with us, and otherwise, we'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. <laughs>
we're back. No, we're back. Yay! Yay! So, uh, first of all, I did say, uh, yep, yeah, so, uh, Jersey Devil, I hope that you, I hope we kept it PG-13 enough for the little one. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought they did a pretty good job of keeping it at innuendos there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Sorry. Maharishi, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Hollow, thank you for the gifted sub. I like that name. You guys are amazing. Aww. Thank you so much for gifting those subs out to new members of our community. Y'all are fantastic. Uh, Wand of Orcus, welcome in, Wand of Orcus. Wand of Orcus? That is a that is a D and D name. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I thought it was Wand of Orcus. Innuendo and out your other. <laughs> 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 Alright, that was punnier than it deserved to be. <laughs> that was punnier than it deserved to be. Uh, it's all good. Sleep by anyways. Sleep then by anyways. Okay, cool. So we're back to late night TV now. Alright. <laughs> We've all got to take off the gloves. Whoa, Maharish. Maharishi, thank Maharish. you so much. Oh my god, you just gifted five subs? Thank you so much, Maharishi. Thank you all for all those who have gifted tonight. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for helping out and bringing people into our community. And thank you for supporting our little stream. Um, let's see, I did see Stronghold D&D was requesting Mama Rose to come heal him uh, in the <laughs> next stream. Don't forget, guys, Stronghold D&D, does, they do streams on Sundays, mm. uh, and they, they're a lot of fun to watch. And also, they're just super freaking nice. Oh. Like, Tim is such a, such, such a nice dude, so please go, go follow. Uh, go give them a follow over at Stronghold D&D. Uh, they're just, they're fantastic. So... Hype train incoming! Hype train! Hype train! Hype train! Hype train! With that, oh, did we get a hype train? I don't know. It's yeah. in. It's it's in oh, it says we got a hype train! Oh, hype hey train. Thank you guys! Holy crap! Y'all, thanks so much. Thank you so much for that hype train. You guys are fantastic. Ah! I just, <laughs> I can't say thank you enough. Like, every time I come on the stream, I just get really really overwhelmed with all of it and i want to say thank you all night long and then i i can't do that because we have to do the thing the whole thing <laughs> that you're supporting i have to do it but i want to just say thank you i i'm just really guys i'm thrilled you can ask you can ask manessa me going into this new year has just been i have been like a kid in a candy shop lately i'm so excited about what, what we're what we're working towards right now so thank you guys so much for helping us to grow all uh, right, let me look at one thing real 100%. fast. 7%. And... That's the next level? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where it's at right now. So Hype! It's 7 uh, Bears and Pooses, I love seeing the names of the random people getting gift subs. Yeah, I know, right? It's, but what's great, what's great about it, what I love to see about that is that that is people that are helping, you know, you guys are helping us bring people back into this community. You know, when they get, they get a sub, a lot of times they come back and then sometimes they stay. And So for those of you who were gifted subs and are hanging out with us tonight, Thank you. Thank you for joining us and yeah. for, for spending your for spending your evening watching us play some Dungeons and Dragons and hanging out in the chat. Our community is genuinely I I stand by this that our community is probably the best on Twitch. Wait, I He's dead. talk that talk. and Discord. Thumbs so, down. And Discord. He ain't got no thumbs. <laughs> so yeah. He's the only one with thumbs. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are amazing, and you keep us going. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit a soft spot before I jump back in. But we've been getting a lot of messages lately, uh, private messages from people talking about like how, even on bad days, the stream has helped you know help bring them up and lift their spirits. And guys, when we receive those messages, it just means the world to us. Like it, it really, it keeps us going. It encourages us to keep trying because that's what we want to do. We want to spread positivity. We want to show how. How a, something as simple as getting together, rolling dice, and making stupid voices <laughs> can just change someone's life. Because I know it changed mine. So, thank you guys for helping us to to, to, to continue our dream. <laughs> 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 All right. So with that, um, oh yeah, John the Jersey episode. I believe it was your dad that gifted me a sub when I first stumbled on here. No way. <laughs> The music man oh, himself. The music man himself. <laughs> Enjoy love like a bard chin. All right, right. Listen, my parents are super supportive, guys. They, they always have been. And uh, they have no idea. Well, all right, my dad probably knows more about Dungeons and Dragons now than most of us <laughs> at this table. But before this stream, he knew nothing about it. But he, he came in and he watched he watched almost every session anyways. And has been watching for months and months. And I just 
Dad, if you're still awake out there, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank Sounds you. Like you got good birthday and Christmas gifts coming out. So. <laughs> so with that, Retirement. let's go ahead and jump back in. Yeah. Let's jump back into the chaos as there is an explosion on the rooftop. Oil and fire gets sent everywhere. There's glass that comes raining down. And bag, you're left standing here in front of this little fennec fox. You see as he's kind of like got this, he's got one of those sandy hoods on him. Oh man, the fireworks are starting early today. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, who are we jumping again? You said something about a stupid fox, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go out what there. are you doing? Go out there and see if you can see him. Oh, good. Where'd you come from? So he looks over and he just now notices the two of you as your stealth checks were higher than his perception check. Mm. Man, you guys are good at hiding. I like try, it. I like try, it. Try to be. Hey, so we, uh, and then at this point you see as the flames are rising higher. Wiley. Oh, no. As you throw this, you look over, you, you see as the smoke billows out a lot. People <laughs> don't notice it at first. And then someone, fire, fire on the building. And then people begin to kind of like rush around. You hear as there is the sound of horns and bells ringing. Uh, you, you notice as people begin to kind of like run inside and start pulling, the, uh, getting people out of the building. Mm -hmm. As it begins to spread, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get off the roof. First of all, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want. I'm do it stealthily so they don't see me on the roof. All right, go ahead and make a stealth check. this goes me. down. Can I see it? Can I send a splinter shot of cold up there? To try and put some of that fire out? Yeah, you could technically do that. Okay, since it's a cantrip. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and uh, just, how many How many do you want to shoot? Um, I don't know, like as many as I can within the... All right, go, do, do, me, do me this, roll me 4d4 for me. D4, okay. Mm. Four. Self check? Do you want them individually? Yes. Okay, I got it. Well, no, I'm sorry, total, total. Total, okay. 11. 11? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what was your stealth check? Is it a natural one? It's a natural one. Oh, no! <laughs> it's yeah. a natural one. Wild. <laughs> so, yeah. As you shuffle back. <laughs> here, 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 here we go. As you begin to try and climb down the building back the way you came, mm -hmm. you grab on to one of those clotheslines and begin to carefully back up, and then you hear. You begin to swing down. You guys hear, ah, and you see across the alleyway. You just see Wiley swing by on a clothesline, and you just get dropped on the other side, kind of slamming onto some crates and barrels. You see as two people look down the, like two Warren folk look down the alleyway. Hey, what are you doing down here? And then a guard kind of pokes his head over. He's looking for the fire. One of them says, "I could have sworn that I saw him come off that roof." No, it wasn't me. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm not kidding about it. <laughs> oh hey, that's your friend. Man, that was pretty cool. What's wait, he wait, swinging wait. from the rooftops he's from? He's normally a lot stealthier than that. Very stealthy, yeah. yeah. He's oh, probably he... doing it on purpose. Yeah. You know, you got friends <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so that's uh, 18. 18. Hey, okay. Two blessings. Uh, yeah. At this point, no, as you say this, uh, the guard kind of, kind of <laughs> takes that. a step towards you and someone grabs us. We need to get people out of the building. He kind of, uh, he takes off running. They just ignore you at this point. Uh, with 11 points, you manage to kind of like ice up the edges of the building and manage to slow the burning, but it's not quite enough to put the fire out as it begins to spread. I mean, he literally threw a bottle of oil uh, that was ignited. You see the black smoke eliminating from the top, just kind of like billowing up off the top of the off the, of the roof. Uh, you see at this point, as individuals are coming with carts full of barrels of water and beginning to make their ascent to the top of the building. What are you doing, Wiley? Uh, I'm gonna uh, try to circle my way around behind Gilly. Okay, so you just <laughs> shift around a few blocks. So it's gonna take you a second to get around okay. there. So uh, yeah, uh, we should probably you know get away from the burning building and all that. Seems like uh, yeah, probably I'm the better to idea. Put it out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, you should go. Do you... D6 and 2D4 now per shot. It, it, yeah, uh, I'll try, yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, try again. Okay. okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay, so roll four more D4. Okay. The problem is, is it's on the rooftop and you're down below. You can't get like a really good shot. You can okay. help help keep the spreading. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12? Yeah. You send the splinters up, they kind of scatter the ice along the edge of the building, kind of circling it around, keeping the flames from gathering around the backside of the building here. 
Uh, it's still on fire, but you have halted the progress, given people more of a chance to get to the top and put it out. You see at this point, as you hear the <sighs> and water gets kind of tossed over, as you see individuals going up top as they're dumping buckets of water on it. Well, it was a small amount, but it's mm, baby steps. Honest work. Yeah. Okay. You did good. Let's get out of here. As you guys are beginning to run away, you see at this point, Wiley goes like, yeah, we should probably get away. We should probably get out of here. Yeah, he turns around and he looks at Wiley. Oh, shit, where did you come from? Stop right there. I mean... Don't move. Okay. I guess we can ask now. Why are we hey, following us? Hey, listen, 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 listen. I saw you. Don't, 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 don't stop the messenger, yeah? Don't stop the messenger, right? Listen. You got a message for us? I yeah, 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 So here's the thing, you. right? Uh, truthfully, yeah, I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. But honestly, honestly, boss wants a parlay. Inside check. Make it inside check. Yeah, inside check. I want to look around and see if there's any more people looking at yeah, this. Make it inside check. 18 for me. Uh, 11. 11? Mm -hmm. You believe him? Okay. And then 18? Seems honest enough. Hey, no need for all this violence, yeah? I mean, listen, I ain't never, first of all, first of all, I want to shake your shake your paw, right? Like, because, you know, I ain't never seen someone give the twins a run around like that. Oh, that was impressive. That was, not that was impressive. Enough, I enjoyed man. watching every minute of that. Uh, I enjoyed, yeah, yeah. Don't butter him up. Hey, hey no, no butter him no, up, man. No, he's, no butter him up, man. He saw me in work. He saw me in action. So, you should have seen him. And also, you know, listen, I ain't never seen them, I ain't never seen the boss's Earth Bodyguard thing rock. Rock lady come back so beat up like that before. It was impressive, man. Impressive. That was, I was so Really? That was you? Yeah. The scum, the one that like lit up the bar. I mean, don't get me wrong, but, like we had to throw most of that booze out. Not too happy about that, but you know, that was impressive. Yeah. You guys are impressive. I like all, I like all you. I like you guys a lot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was there. <laughs> it's fine, I got it. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What was your perception check? I got it. Uh, a, a 10. That's it. Yes, yeah, so. Oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Just so you guys know, that was really cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't, what was that ice bucket challenge? What was it? Glass of ice water. Oh. It was a glass of ice water. Oh, no. Yeah, that was very cold. Very, very cold. Um, but that's fine. Give me an excuse to go and get coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so with a 10, Tim, as you take a look down, you notice most people are kind of congregating at the front of the building right now. It seems to be like they're all very preoccupied with the fact that the building's on fire. And no one, none of you have any idea how that happened. Like, nobody has a clue. The building just caught flame. Um, he does. Um, but it seems like <laughs> everyone's kind of got their attention to me. Basically, I was looking to see if there any more of his potential crew with him. Uh, with all the chaos yeah. happening in front of the yeah. bit, like Man, the alleyway, yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Uh, so yeah, so anyways, boss wants a parlay, right? So boss just wants us to kind of, you know, listen, not that he's like afraid of you or nothing, because there's, listen, there's a lot of us, but he got his map back, don't know how that happened, but you know, whatever, whatever, not my problem. All I know is he got, the, he, he got it back and he's happy now. So. And also, my girl's been dancing, you know, she danced all night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Bad baby. Anyways, I'm just saying that everything's good. He wants a truce. You don't, you don't come mess with the sandals, and the sandals don't come messing with you. Sound good? That's all he wants? That's it. What does he need from us? Not a thing. You just don't come mess with the sandals. The sandals don't come messing with you. And just like that, the parlay is done. That's it? But yeah. good work. With my word. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. And like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Or, I can, you know, head back and see my yeah. girl dancing. Yeah, like, man. slip back into my bar, you know? Yeah. So, uh, Use your eyes to see something better. But if you see me wandering about, it's just I'm doing my job. Ain't nothing to it. I'm just keeping an eye. Making sure you ain't messing with the sandals. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, next time you just come hang out with us. Well, I can't do that. No, you can. No, hey, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, listen, listen, I like you guys. You're cool, yeah? You're cool, but... Boss man would royally wreck my ass if he found out that I was hanging out with the, with our, uh, I don't want to call you our enemies, but you're not also our friends, so like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I guess, uh, I don't fully believe him. Yeah, well. 
Who are your other enemies? I mean, you know, to be honest with you, we ain't got no, no we ain't got no other enemies. Because we ran a lot of enemies out of town. Or buried in the set. One or the other. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, I mean, I guess a parlay it is. Yeah, parlay. I got, I got no reason to say no. Be on your guard. I mean, if they're happy and we're happy. Mm-hmm. Happy. happy. Yeah. You messing with me? Hey, ain't nobody if, messing with you, man. Nobody. Listen, ain't no problem. Like I said, if you, you are, catch Gilly just walking around, just kind of keeping an eye on you. Gilly just doing his job. But if you are, you get in the blanket. I mean, you can try. <laughs> with that, you see as he just vanishes. He's got a. He turns to sand and disappears. And then he reappears about 20 feet down the alleyway, kind of reforming in the sand. Like I said, you can try. But Gilly's really hard to catch, man. It's pretty cool tree, I won't lie. It's pretty sweet. It's kind of like your, your, your tree thing. Yeah, it's similar. He shuffles over. You see as he, like, he doesn't even, like, he doesn't take footsteps. The sand propels him forward as he surfs across it to you. Can I shake your hand, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, seriously. No, no, no. That was impressive yes, work. Yeah. I no, hate no, the no, twins. No. They're so arrogant. They're so, They're so arrogant. Yeah, yeah. I had to knock them down a peg. Yeah, right? listen, listen. Yeah. They've been in the training room ever since you left. Like, boss said they could come out, like, six hours ago. Yeah. They've been in there still fighting each other, oh. sparring. You know, probably not great for you. Oh, no. But, no. like, bro. I'm, I'm living. Bro. That's it's amazing. I live for that kind of stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Love so, it. So, just understand... Uh, if you cross us, no hard feelings, I'm gonna have to do... Hey, listen, like I said, truce man, truce man. I like you, I like you. Oh, you don't wanna mess with the sandals, you mess with the sandals, you get the flip flop, you know what I'm saying? So you don't wanna do that. What do you, you know, what do you wear when it's hot out, you know, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah, All right, all right, you guys are cool, I like y'all. So you know, like I said, you know, truce. Stay in your lane, we stay in ours. No problem. This guy gets it. Well, Do we have to go meet for this whole parlay business? No, no, no. I'm just a messenger. That's what I'm here for. You know, all you right. don't come back to our place. We don't come up into your place. You know, it's all good. Yeah, we just it's all good. We just it's groovy. Through. Well, groovy. he was shaking his hand and talking all that. I wanted to look carefully to see if he had like rings or some type of stuff that might give him this ability to vanish in the same. Investigation check. Oh, you're wrong character. Minus one. <laughs> minus one. I think somebody cl- Yep, I think the Maharishi clipped when I knocked that glass off. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I will say, with this, with my dex being as low as it is, <laughs> the fact that that's the first time I've done that since we yeah, started streaming a year and a half ago, I'm happy with You'll myself. Take I'll you, take that. You want to talk about your books over there, though? Oh. No reason. No reason. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> or the whiteboards. So what was, uh, what, was your, what was your investigation check? <laughs> Every night. Every night. Okay, so as you take a look at him, you don't, uh, you, you don't know. He does have some bangles on his wrists that are pretty open. You do notice he's got some weapons. He has two scimitars, one on either hip. But outside of that, nothing seems out of place. So. All right, then. Well, uh, like I said, I'm just going to go back to like watching you guys from... You know, with distance. Don't worry about it. Don't just, worry about you know, it. you go about your business. I go about mine. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. You know. Hey, hopefully but, you can go back and put your eyes on something nice. Man, yeah. man, she don't dance the rest of the day today. She comes back tomorrow. What? That's crazy. I know. Where right? did she go? She's so good. Where did she go when she's not? In the day? Like, listen, I don't know, man. I mean, I know she goes home, and like, I ain't. I'm not gonna be weird like that. You know what I'm saying? Mermaid Oasis is it? No, no, no. You respect no. her boundaries. I know I do. Like I've only asked her out twenty-seven times this month. I'm trying, to, trying to get better about it. You know what I'm saying? You look like a guy whose lucky number is twenty-eight. You think so? I really do. Oh, yeah. I'm so. not respecting boundaries. You should go. You should go there, right? Nah, now. listen. Like you know, she says. You know, she always says like, "Ask me again tomorrow," and like I do. And she always says, "Ask me again tomorrow." You know, today I mean, is just you yesterday. Is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, she's not really interested, you know. <laughs> no, no, she's interested. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I interested. am a catch. I am hot fire. Oh, yeah. I, I, I am the spice for the spice. Hard to catch. 
Which is it? He's a catch that's hard to catch. <gasps> yeah, he yeah, gets... yeah, yeah, yeah. She wouldn't know anything about that. She wouldn't know anything about that. How do you know? Anyways, like I said, Stick to I'm gonna disappear story. now. I'm gonna go back and watch the new guys for a distance. So, please, you know, just like truce and all that. Don't watch too close. Yeah, watch carefully. I'll wink at him and I'll shake my tail. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep my distance from that. I can still smell that all over the bar, man. <laughs> Uh, just takes a step back. You see as he kind of glides across the sand and then fades down into it. Well. Yeah, I think we can trust this guy. Mm -hmm. He pretty butted good. you right on up. We cannot yeah, well, trust this guy. Yeah, well, we can trust or this guy. Or any, or his boss, or anybody. I don't see why not. He's, he seems like he shoots straight, you know? No hidden intentions. I mean, we really have no reason to go back there anyway, so we just keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Yep, yep. Yep. Do. How do you feel doing your property damage? What do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Is that... <laughs> 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 Literally, you guys just heard the explosion and <laughs> you just saw Wiley. <laughs> uh, oh, you mean... Uh-huh. You're the only one up there. Yeah. Okay. You failed. How'd you make all that fire? Uh, I used one of those oil flasks that we had. Ooh, yeah. nice. Yeah, that we got a while back, yeah. About this point, do you hear someone Hey, you four! What are you doing back there? This house is on fire! It's dangerous! Please, you need to evacuate! Oh no! Ah! We're making sure everybody's got out. Are you okay? Sir! 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 Come on! Sir! 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 Yeah, to the y'all costing me? No. I'm an old man. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you guys take him and escort him out to the street. The guard kind of pushes you aside. At this point, you see on the second floor of this building, the windows are busted out. There's smoke billowing outwards. You see, there's a lot of Oren folks scattered around, mostly Fennec foxes that are all staring up. They're just kind of like, how, do, how did this happen? I don't know. What's it, uh, who, how does this fire just start like this? And they're all very confused right now. Uh, you do notice as individuals are going in with buckets of water, and you can you can see at this point most of the flames have been doused, but the entire upper half of the building is essentially destroyed. Uh, and let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> do I see anybody who looked like they were living in that house? Um, as you take a look around, you see a couple of people that are kind of covered, in, a couple of fennec foxes that are covered in soot um, and smoke. You can see it kind of cloak uh, on their clothes. Uh, you're not sure if they live there or if they were just there you don't you don't even know what this building is so but there are a couple of individuals outside that look like they just came from in the smoke i'm not observing and looking i'm heading my way to leave okay. before I get in trouble. <laughs> so you continue your way north did you want to do something no okay so you make your way headed north until eventually you do come to the uh to the observatory you make your way towards it uh or excuse me south of the city you find your way and make, it, make your way to the observatory uh, ahead of you. Very large towers spanning some 10 to 12 stories high. You can see the very large oh. telescopes. It's one of the nicer observatories you've ever seen and very large oh. as well. Even bigger than the one in Twins Pass. Um, across from it, you see the four story high Mermaid's Oasis. This large uh, casino. Tim, you're, you're just seeing it again for the second time. Even in the daytime, it's still magnificent. It loses a little luster because there's well, not as many brightly casino. colored lights, but there's still a lot of uh, tapestries, lanterns, and, uh, and a great many other decorations that are kind of uh, illuminating it and decorating its outside, its exterior. You do see one thing that catches your attention though, Tim. On the fourth floor, there is a terrace, like a small terrace that overlooks the city. Uh, you see someone up top that you've seen before. You see there is this, what appears to be this Fennec Fox. She's resting her head over a guardrail. You see she's still wearing that veil that kind of covers your face, that tall, mm. like, pointed hat. You saw her in a carriage the day before. It was a fancy one that you were spying on where the carriage was being pulled by the bird. Exactly. I think it was a bird. What was it? Mm -hmm. It was an ostrich. Oh, it was an ostrich. Mm -hmm. It's an ostrich, okay. Yeah. And you notice there's a Quite a few people still coming in and out of the casino at the moment. Is she on the ledge of the casino? Yeah, so the casino, so you see there's like some stairs that lead up to the first level. Uh, then it's got two levels in between and the very top level, there it covers half the building. And then there's a terrace off to the left. Okay. 
So. I wonder if that's Betty. I don't know. Who's Betty? <laughs> Betty Crocker. Betty Boop. Uh. My new love. He's really in trouble if she can cook. <laughs> Why is that? Um. Let's not talk about Your it. Your mom can't cook. No, she can cook. She can cook great. That's why I was never invited over there. Yeah. Yeah, she was trying to keep a secret. No, she can cook really well, actually. Okay, then. Yeah. What's the problem? Well, if she looks really good and she can cook really well, that's what my mom's got going for her. She's, and my mom's, you know. Your she's, mom looks really good? No, I will. <laughs> it's a good thing she's not mm. here. <laughs> <laughs> she's my mom. <laughs> okay. Get this I mean, I guess for a anything. fox her age. You know? Yeah, for her age, she, yeah. I think she looks pretty good. But, you know, she she got over a certain age. You know, Betty is young. Young and spry yeah. and foxy. Yeah. Mm. Age isn't everything, you guys. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know? I asked. <laughs> it's okay, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. So this is an observatory. Yes, let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Observe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we could can talk to her. You she, can use that telescope to, you know, look at look at her. Fancy. No, ew. It's gross. Don't oh, do that. Okay. Do you want a messenger? Peeping Tom. Mm -hmm. I can talk to her from Peeping here. Tim. It's not like that. Peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, you make your way inside the observatory. As you step inside, you notice that there is a... Um, Typical to most of the observatories, there's a small uh, waiting area at the bottom. You see a bar across the back. You notice that there is a, uh, on, in this particular observatory, there's a large wall with a number of maps, each of which has been framed uh, with a glass casing over it. So they're kind of hanging up. Um, as you step inside and you kind of peruse them, you notice that each one is a record. Uh, each one is like a different record that's of size of astral that has been found. Um, Breaking, uh, one of them has broken the length, one of them has broken the diameter, one of them has broken the weight record, uh, one of them has broken the color record uh, mm -hmm. that you didn't even know was a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that they take great pride in spotting the finest astrals for all of Orin. Uh, back behind the, counter, uh, behind the counter, you notice that there is a Finnick Fox kind of hopped up on a box. Uh, you see as uh, she's kind of looking over some things, she looks up, oh hi, welcome in. Hello. Can I help you all, seekers? Uh, yeah, just one moment. Hey, I have an idea. Um, you can come with me. Hey, talk to this lady. Hello. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Over there. Can I see the scroll? Yeah. Okay, thanks. What scroll? The one with the map to Zepdos. So the map of Zepdos? Yeah. The, okay, gotcha. So, you take that. Oh, hi. Yes. So, uh, what can I do for you, seekers? Um, currently, are you, are you looking for a map? Seekers, we be one more than three. This is Tim. Yes, I can see there are four of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Tim. Tim? Tim, can I help you? Tim, sorry. Take it away. I would, um, can I see the... The thing you looked at. Marco, can you come here for a second? <laughs> as she kind of like call you see as, as she says this, uh, you watch as the door opens up and you see this tall caracal kind of step out. He has a very long saber on his hip. He kind of looks down and says, is everything wrong? All right, Minsk. She goes, I don't know. <laughs> They're being very strange. <laughs> strange? Who's strange? You're strange. Kind of takes a step forward. Can I help you? Uh, you're tall. During this time, I'm going to take Wiley over to the maps that are on the wall. I'm going to take a scroll and see if anything kind of lines up or matches up and looking at the maps on the wall. Make an investigation check. Like mm. Yeah, can you help me with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to guide you while you look. I'm going right. to aid you. Right. And I'm going to try and look really hard. So are you going to help me or are you going to roll your own? No, you got it. So I get advantage. Yes, I'm helping you. All right. I'm aiding you. Aiding. 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 Okay, uh, just do two plus do 
investigation. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. All right. So nice. As you kind of unravel it, you take a look at the sigil of Delphi Mary. Take a look at any of the the uh, the iconography, the buildings. Um, as you unravel it and you're searching over, nothing seems to match any of these maps. As you're as you're kind of looking over each one, you don't see any buildings that match up. You don't see any geography or topography that matches up. Some of these maps send uh, seekers to the west coast. Some of them send them south. There's only one that you find that actually sends them out into the desert, but it doesn't seem to match up anything mm-hmm. on this particular mm-hmm. map. Um, as you look about, however, you do notice that there is one particular glass case that is empty. Hmm. And it's there's a little note to the bottom of it. It says, what would have been the largest astral in history. But there's no map there. The one that got away. <laughs> so, uh, can I help you? You two, over there, are, are you with these? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm looking for checking. the thing that you observed through. Can I see it? The telescope? No, you may not, unless you're a member of a star on guild. But they want to look at the stars. Well, then you can step outside when it gets dark tonight. Sorry, we're Seekers. Um, are there any astral jobs open? Why are Seekers getting stranger about the day, Mints? No, no, really no, no, it's like just, it. it's just... I'm uh, just uh, trying to work here. Mints, is that your name? <laughs> As you say <laughs> this, <laughs> they immediately look at her. Oh, my apologies, friends. <laughs> so sorry. Um, it's very rare that we get travels from Coopstown. I didn't know Coopstown had any seekers at the moment. I see. Well, welcome to Sand Haven Observatory. I'm sorry, friends. You, you may not see the telescope without an astronomer's license. He does have a really cool accent, you're right. How, how, how do I get a license? He completely ignores it. <laughs> Hello? How, how do I get a license? Well, of course, you would have to attend the astronomer's school, uh, the University of North Mutant or New Barton, one or the other. And how long do I have to attend the school? Four years. <laughs> At his age? Is that a weekend class? Come on. It's <laughs> kind I think, I think you, you might very well be able to attend and maybe graduate early if you do very well and take summer classes. Is that what you did? No. But it is option. Hmm. So. Uh, while, while Tim ponders this, um, who's the head astronomer here? Uh, you see, is uh, the character who stands up? Uh, that would be me. He's got kind of gestures. My name is Marco. Hmm. Marco. Marco. Uh, you been here for a while? Quite some time. About a decade or so, I suppose. Would you, uh, would you know of anybody who's well-versed in the history of these lands? Hmm. Well, outside of the Astro. Outside of the Astronomer's Guild? Mm-hmm. Uh, versed in the topography of the Vermilion Reach. Mm-hmm. Would likely be the governor himself. Uh, of course, garnering a meeting with him would be difficult. Mm. Uh, there is also... The owner of the mermaid's oasis across the way. Mm. Difficult, difficult man to get in touch with them. He was once a seeker of these parts. Hmm. Hmm. And the, uh, do you have any names of these people by chance? Indeed I do. Uh, Dalsin Borloff. He is the owner. Okay. <laughs> is the owner of the Mermaid's Oasis, and of course, the governor of our fine city is Governor Hashan. Hashan, Dossin. Dossin. Oh, why do I need to get people's names down? And Hashan. Dossin. 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 Olaf. 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 Of course, there is also. Uh, there are a few that are down in the Merchant District, the Bazaar, that are quite, that have been here for a while. Madame Jazeera has assisted many seekers in their travels. Mm. Uh, she would also be a great uh, person to see. Also, Raoul of the Cabinet of Curiosities. Yeah, Raoul, he's a sham. Raoul. Really? Yes. Um, he doesn't know what he's talking about. 
Good guy, though. Good guy. He's, yeah, good people. Good good doesn't know what he's talking about. So, Minsk kind of... Oh. Good to know. What'd you buy? You bought Nothing. something? What yeah. did you buy? A curiosity. Yes, a curiosity. You show us his jam. Well, what did is it he supposed to do? Well, he said that it's what's... You know, never mind. I think I'm going to take my break now, Mom. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I can see if it's got any magic on it. I can help you. You can? I can, yeah. Before you go. You can't, can you see what it does, though? Like, if it tells you, will it, will it tell you what it does? Um, no. But yeah, she I, could probably tell you, but you, can you let look to that? Never thing? mind then. I, I take for it. <laughs> Thank you all. Is it a love potion? She, t- she, she immediately, she, oh, like at that point, her eyes go wide. She jumps down and she disappears into the back door. All right, see you later. Best oh. of luck on your <laughs> ma- magical item. <laughs> she always like this, Marco. Uh, she is a timid one, yes. Mm. It's always those bookish types. She talk about anyone in particular? No, I do not know. To be honest, I simply work with her co-workers, that is all. Anyways, is there anything that, uh, that we can do for you today, Seekers? Uh, currently, we do have two astrals, uh, two astral maps that are currently for sale. One is towards the southwest coast of here. Uh, the other one is uh, northwest into the Vermilion Reach. Of course, both maps cost you ten gold pieces each, should you... Why the book them? We all have to pay ten gold pieces. No, just no, just for the one. Uh, <laughs> what about? Well, he was trying to, you know, take advantage of us. Nah, we, we can't be taking advantage. Yeah, you're a little too we paranoid, Tim. Did you get so stingy? It's <clears throat> quite all right. I've been to Cooperstown many a times. So I understand. Is there a bathroom around? Um, <laughs> kind of looks at you. Uh, there's not one, I mean, there is one within here, but this is for employees only. It's an emergency, can I please? Make a persuasion, or deception <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, 28. 28? Nice. That's really good. Oh, it's just, uh, uh, make it quick. Oh, little comes out. Kind of gestures towards the door <laughs> that uh, Minsk just went through. Uh, if you, through the door to the ba- to the left. Maybe Thank he's you. older than we think he is. Yeah, we, bladder issues. Yeah. yeah. So you heard that, Sylvie? <laughs> you you kind of shift around and shift through the doorway here. Uh, you do see as you enter in it, it's a small break room. There's a small little table. There's a couple of cabinets. There's a small, uh, like a little baby uh, pot belly stove in the corner. Um, you see uh, Mintz right now. She's currently kind of sitting there, uh, twiddling her thumbs, like just looking up. She, she's she's walking. She. Oh. Marco sent me back here to check on you. Make a deception check. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> oh. Are you uh, still blessed? 15. And I do have one. I'll do one more. That's not cocked. That's how it's designed. 16. 16? Is she gonna... He sent a stranger to check on me? Oh. Of course he wouldn't check on me himself. I'm okay. It just... He said it would bring me luck and love. And she kind of like... You see as she reaches into her pocket and she pulls out this tiny uh, ruby stone. Like it's not, it's not a ruby, it's like a red stone. She kind of places it. He said it was, it was found in some temple to the east of here. Mm. And that it would bring me luck and love. Did Can I see it? It's sure. Uh, I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion to make it glow a little bit. Mm. Ooh, this is a powerful stone. Really? Yeah, yeah. She takes it, make a deception check. <laughs> with advantage. <clears throat> 24. 24? As she takes it back, the minor illusion fades, and she... Maybe it was meant for you. You have to just be true to yourself. That's all it takes. I believe. I believe. She just starts chanting. Good, good. Now, uh, where's the bathroom? Oh, sorry, the latrine is just through that door there. Thanks. 
Do I see any other, what other doors are around? Anything open? Uh, as you notice, as you enter into this room, there is a door that leads into an alleyway back behind the, uh, the, labo- uh, the laboratory. Observatory? <laughs> Thank you, observatory. <laughs> My English left me for a moment there. Uh, there's a door that leads towards the train, and then there's another door that looks like it leads to the left. Uh, it's closed currently. You don't know where it goes. Um, but that's it. What you say? So. Okay. You said this one, I'm going to go to the not the latrine door, that so, one. No, that, not that one. That's Marco's I'll office. It it, uh, as you go to try and open it, it's locked currently. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. That one over there? Y- yes, the next one over. Kind of shift inside. The three of you who are still out front. Uh, so, what brings you <laughs> secrets to town? Uh, what's the story behind... <laughs> nice one, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I mean, we do. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Not right. mm-hmm. That's what we do. That's I'm we're seeking to look to that. So. <laughs> I found some pocket bacon. Lizard <laughs> <laughs> <Was it> bacon? <laughs> How long has it been in that pocket dimension? <laughs> I get, can, all right, can, can we can we bring it in? Like for a little bit? <laughs> it's still pretty crispy. Uh, I'm sorry, you were saying something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, that empty. I noticed that one was empty. Yes, um. The largest astral ever recorded mm-hmm. being seen from this observatory crashed uh, somewhere in the desert years ago. I suppose it would have been before my time, 20 years ago to the day, I believe. Uh, maybe a little longer. Uh, they say that uh, it, it, you could see it from every observatory from here to the south coast. It was oh, so large. Wow. Yeah. Who is that? Now, there was a group of seekers that was sent out on that quest, and only one returned. Mm. But not with an astral, and also not with the map. And that particular seeker was the one that I mentioned earlier, the owner of the Mermaid's Oasis. Mm. And uh, nothing particular was out in that direction that people knew of? We don't know. The, obs- the astronomer who made the map mysteriously vanished not mm. long after the map was created not long uh, several months i suppose after the mission was set out uh, no one knows exactly where it where it landed except for him he was the only one that was able to chart the course it's a little hooky to me yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's a lot of things not adding a lot up. of mystery involved mm-hmm. in this one must be coops does no do we do we want any of these other Oh, sh- sure, I guess. We can go ahead and take the other two. Might as well while we're here. Mm-hmm. So we have to pay, we have to pay 10 gold. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, you got Does it. Does it seem incredibly egregious? No, it was 10 gold in the last place, too. Mm-hmm. So. Here you go. Here's like 20 it. gold for both of them. Kind of so. Very well. Takes them. Kind of, you see as he wanders, he disappears into that dorm. Um, you <laughs> hear, as you're in the latrine, you hear, you hear that door, you hear this as a key oh, it unlocks the door and opens it up. As Marco enters inside, you can hear some shuffling on the other side of it. I'm going to cast invisibility on myself and follow him in. All right, so you cast invisibility on yourself and you open the latrine door. Minsk immediately, she's like, I believe, I believe. Sir? As the door swings open on its own. I... Believe that I'm going to go back to work now. <laughs> she stands up and she immediately like, just steps outside. The three of you, she steps out, she sees all of you, and then takes off up the stairs no, uh, uh, further up the observatory. As you enter into the office, you see Marco. He's going through. There's a desk here. There's a couple of. There's quite a few bookshelves scattered about. Each one with uh, quite a few scroll cases. You notice there's piles of parchment in the right hand corner. It is a mess in here, though. Everything. There's no organization method whatsoever. You see, as he's kind of. Ah, oh, here they are. Kind of like shifts over uh, to the other side of the desk and rolls up two scrolls and puts them in a case, in cases. And then he begins to make his way toward the doorway. What do you want to do? I'm going to stay in the office. Kind of <clears throat> slip in. Make a stealth check for me. With advantage. Oh, God. Eight. Eight? <laughs> yeah, that's not great. As he's walking towards you, <laughs> you shift out of the way and immediately, like, you're trying to keep it on. It's a very small walkway here between the papers and the desk. You try to get out of his way, and as you back up, you hit a stack of papers, <laughs> they fumble over under the floor immediately. What the hell? Can I minor illusion a wind? If 
you cast a spell, even a cantrip, you become visible. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you would know that. A cantrip is considered a spell. Okay. So it would it would make you become visible. As you see, as you knock it over, you freeze for a second. He immediately kind of walks towards you. He sees he's about to walk on top of you. What are you gonna do? Make a dex check. Just gonna slide out of the way. Must be the wind. Must be the wind. 14. A 14? As he's reaching towards that pile of papers, you manage to slide under, he's very tall. You slip right under his arms and kind of slide back towards the doorway. You see as he begins to like pile the papers back up on a stack. You see as he's looking around at them, you see he's trying to like read the, t- the handwriting on them. I really need to get that through my handwriting. Is this last trueno or? Okay. I'll figure it out later. He starts just <laughs> stacking them back up again. And then he stands and begins to make his way towards the doorway once more and he's making a stealth check for me. <sighs> Damn it. Not great. With uh, advantage. Yes, With advantage. Because you're Come invisible. On. Eight. Eight. Oh. Oh. Back. As he's walking towards you, uh, in your direction, you try to slide past him. The door <laughs> slams up against the back of the wall. He stops for a second there. He reaches for his sword. Something's not right here. He's going to take a whiff in the air. Is there... What is it? Was there anywhere to go in the room we're in to go where I think the observer, the telescope is? The <laughs> stairs that lead up where Minsk just went. Was there a sign that said no? It did say no, no, uh, it said <laughs> only, employees only okay. beyond this point. <laughs> <laughs> so as you shift there, you see as he's got his saber ready, he looks right in your direction. Kind of takes a step towards you. What are you going to do? Hold my breath and toss the purple signal pouch that I kept from the thing and just kind of like toss it out the door a little bit. Hopefully it lands and like... So make a slide of hand check. This is not with advantage because even though you're invisible, he's looking right at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be kind of... Yeah, this is going to be a <laughs> We aren't doing anything. 14. What did we come here for? A 14? 14. Uh, trouble. We did that, but anyway, we're going to have to So, you see, he's got his eyes on you. You carefully reach into your pouch, kind of pull it around, and you go to gently toss it with your fingers, kind of sending it out of the room. You see as he swings, as he comes through, that scimitar goes through, this, uh, through the, uh, the doorway. He slams right through the wood, going to swing it as the the purple smoke begins to expand outwards and fills the room. He, oh, he drops the two the two scrolls to the ground, kind of backs up. You see as he walks out, he's confused. What are you gonna do? Go deeper into the office and just like sit behind his desk. <laughs> so you just shift the room and kind of plop down. You see as he he kind of like immediately grabs the pouch with the signal smoke. He ties it back up. Where did this come from? Oh, so figure this out later. He sets it aside, he grabs two scrolls, shuts the door, and then you hear kick, kick, as he locks it behind him. E3. A few moments pass, and you see as the door pushes open and Marco appears once again, there's this purple smoke. They got a. He's just. <coughs> I apologize, I don't know what this is. The, the pouch is. She was acting a little weird. I don't know. I didn't see her when I was coming out. Maybe. I don't know. It's not like her to play pranks. Mm. She's usually very studious at her job. Mm. Suddenly this powder just appeared out of nowhere. The smoke filled the room. I, I'll, I'll figure it out later. Anyways, here right. are your maps as he places the scrolls <laughs> ahead of him. Kind of on the counter. Um, can I ask you a question? Do you have any knowledge on the ancients? Very little. I know they existed. Lots of, uh, they say deep in the deserts that many have stumbled across their tombs and castles amongst other days. <laughs> but I know very little about them myself. I study the stars, not history. Do you know anybody who might? Or do you? 
Let me guess, Madam Jasir. If I want to take a guess, I would have said Raoul, oh. actually, being that he is the one that runs the Cabinet of Curiosities, but it sounds to me like you've already had a run in with him. Mm. Yeah. Second guess? Yes, Madam Jasir. Mm. She knows what She seems to be very knowledgeable. She is a little I've kooky, but she is very knowledgeable, yes. Hmm. I have to pay her a visit. Uh, your friend has been in the train for quite some time. Do you think I should check on him? Oh, he ate some some bad lizard jerky oh. earlier this morning. Yeah. Uh, I think of course, and I would tell him to use our latrine. I should have sent him across the street yeah. to the mermaid's oasis. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I apologize in advance. Anyways, I have, you've procured your maps. Is there anything else that I can help you with? I don't <laughs> think so. Um, oh, yeah, tell them lizard jerky too. Oh, you, oh, you too? You gotta go? Okay. We only have one latrine down here. You're going to have to take it across the street, sir. If it helps, I can I can grab some lavender <laughs> for the smell. I would appreciate it. Okay, I'll go back there. So. Right. All I meant you is you could make it for me here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. I think, yes, I'll, uh, you, Mermaid's Oasis is across the street, I'll check on your friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there is only one latrine here, I don't know how to help you. Shh, shh. Uh-oh. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my uh, observatory. It's a damn we, we, Hey, you guys go. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, okay. Yeah. I tell you. Yeah. 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 Easy, easy, easy. Don't make me come out. Shuffle them out the door. I, I. Yep, you're definitely from Coopstown. He turns around and disappears through that back door. Wait, wait. I had a question for you. Yes. Is there anything you could tell me about the stars? You said you know a lot about the stars, yeah. A little bit. Right? It's quite a bit. So what, what, is, what are you curious about? All of it. I've heard that you can track. I'm, I'm a druid. Make oh, a, enchanted. Make a persuasion check. Natural 20. Oh! Hey! 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 25. She bought you another round. <laughs> 25. He turns towards you says, well, I suppose that I must enlighten curious minds. So he sits down, kind of. You watch as he reaches underneath the counter, he rolls out this star chart ahead of you, and he begins to show you some things. Ooh. As he begins to explain this, Bag, what are you doing? I want to be looking around all the bookshelves, just searching for anything shiny. Oh boy, anything. go ahead and make an investigation mm -hmm. check. Come on! Damn it! <laughs> Not great! Um, 11. 11? Yeah. You begin to sift through, I mean, there are stacks of papers <laughs> as you begin to like sift through. There's no organization method. There's, the dates are all wrong. This one was from two days ago. This one was from 20 years ago. The one right below it was from 20 months ago. You just, you start barely, like kind of shifting through. You, you go to open up the desk, the, you pull up to the first drawer. As you pull it open, <laughs> Just a tons of papers come flying out of it. The second desk, you open it up and you notice there are like 14 inkwells in here. All of them are empty and turned over. Uh, as you go through, you kind of like reach down, you open up the bottom right drawer. Uh, it is full of scroll cases, all of them empty. Uh, you turn around, you, you're, you're looking through the bookshelves, you're trying to find anything of interest. Nothing seems to catch your attention though. I made one fake copy of the map, one real copy of the map, and then we had the other copy. Correct. Right, okay. <clears throat> Do I see any maps? Uh, you see a lot of maps. Yeah, you do see a lot of maps in here. As you begin to sift through, uh, as you kind of like going through, particularly on the bookshelves and the, and the scroll cases, as you pop each of these cases open, there are maps. And you notice that each one, much like uh, many of the uh, Seeker maps before you see, is they have been uh, marked as purchased and completed. Uh, there are roughly, as you kind of like just take a quick count, there are 117 scroll okay. cases through here, each one just staggered along this bookshelf. Do I see anything about a region? I want to check for like desert maps and look for that cliff, potentially. All right, so as you're shifting through, uh, make one more investigation check. DC's higher on this one. Yeah, come on. Natural 20. Thank Natural God. Every time. Yeah. I say the DC <laughs> is higher. <laughs> 
god. Alright. That's bit. three now. Oh, three. Three? What'd you have? Holy it's, um, oh, yeah. shit. It didn't matter. I didn't bet. I forgot. <laughs> no. So. Dizzy forgot to bet. As you're sifting through. Give me one second. Let me find that name. Ooh, I like that sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As you shift through all these scroll cases, um, you get down to one at the very bottom, and you kind of pop the top off of it. You notice there's no map in it. There's a lot of dust that comes out with it, though. There's no map. There is a singular piece of papyrus with some notes as you kind of like pull it out. You notice some notations made by a, a uh, observer, Garrick. G-A-R-R-I-C-K, Garrick. The notes state that a group of seekers led by one Dalsin Borloff purchased a map to the north. Dalsin returned with a great manner of jewels, but no astral. However, one piece of jewelry had a symbol upon it. As it's drawn out in front of you, you see a sun with eight points. will recruit more Seekers to pursue what could have been the largest astral in history. That's it. It's just a self-notation by an Observer Garrick. Okay. Um, when he swiped down with the scimitar, where did he hit? He said he hit the door, mm-hmm. the open door. Did he put a crack in it? Pretty big crack in it. I'm going to go look out that crack and try to misty step out to the room. All right. So you like kind of like <laughs> climb up on some of the papers and you look out. You appear into the room on the other side. About this point, um, he finished. And that is how you would chart yourself across from east coast to west coast using only the stars. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can I write some of this down? Do you mind? Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Right ahead. Right. Astronomy 101, dear. Yeast. You might make a good astronomer yourself one day. As he turns around, and he enters into the door, into the, uh, uh, into the uh, the break room, and he sees you just standing there. I mean, just to, like be walking and pushing. Like, oh, you do not want to go in there. Uh, 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 no, sir. <laughs> so you just push past him. He's, well, good to know that he's all right. Anyways, he kind of like walks behind you. You see as he. Don't forget your lavender. Got him shut. Thank you, there. Thank you, Shuts man. the door. Anyways, best of luck, Seekers, on your journey. You Thank might want you. to go rejoin your friends. Have a nice day. It was lovely talking to you. Okay. You two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As you guys make your way <laughs> out of the observatory, where are you headed? Wait. Is that a play, or will you actually have it? <laughs> <laughs> How close do I walk behind you? <laughs> you had my 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 fur on in. You're literally off the camera. You're yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want any part of that. <laughs> so so, what are you trying to do? I was trying to go in, yeah, you know, make a diversion so that what was bad to me hadn't come back in forever. I don't know what he was probably doing. Up to something bad. Probably trying to eat that mix girl or whatever her name yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how? Do you still want to see the, the telescope? Why do, why do you want the telescope so bad? I want to look for astrals. That's what the maps are for. I think they write the wrong stuff down on the maps. So you want to see for yourself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How tall is this tower? <laughs> it's it's about 120 feet. Not only 120 feet. About 120 feet tall. Oh. Hold on tight, yeah. <laughs> Like How bad? The <laughs> okay, that was different. I will tell you this: <laughs> this particular tower is made completely of sandstone. There's no climbable surface okay, on shit. the outside of it. Okay. 
and it's tall. It's tall. It's and very no, tall. No tall. And there are the, all the buildings next to it are only one to three stories tall. There's They're nothing not tall enough. Maybe less or something around. With a very good strength check, you might be able to throw a 120 foot rope and a kind grappling hook up to the top where the telescope is pointing out. How bad do you want to? Can it wait or? Uh, can wait. We use that. I mean, I mean, we can always come back at night. Yeah, I mean, we can, I can go to school, come back with a scholar. Go, go to school? Isn't that what he said? University or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to take years. We don't have years. I don't have years. You can go to school and live a good life. I'm going to still continue looking for astros. Well, that's what I'll be doing, just along with that. You're going to be in class with other animals studying things from a book all right so let's study from the field yeah that's that's what i want to do so let's go find an astral about this point you see <laughs> as uh sylvie and bag come out of the observatory kind of stepping forward oh. on the street did you find anything anybody watching us i uh, make a perception check Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> you don't see anyone. No, no one seems to be paying you mind. There's a lot of traffic kind of shifting around in the streets here. You see a lot of orange folk kind of shifting up and down. A lot of coming in and out of the casino. It's a heavy traffic area, but no one seems to be paying any attention to you in particular. I know you well enough to know you were up to something. You guys recognize what this? What is that? That is the signal, the the sigil of Zephyrus on, on the thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where'd you find that? In uh, his office. Oh. He almost killed me. Oh. It wasn't good. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> well, you should tell somebody next time when you were doing that. that was really I just tough. assumed when you were on the shitter so long, you were doing something. Well, I did shit too. Mm. That's why it smells so bad. I yeah. set the stage, <laughs> oh, okay. you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Good actor sets some, the stage. Oh, good. Some truth to it. That makes sense. But this guy, this uh, the, uh, Dowson, Mm-hmm. He knows. He knows where it is. He knows where the place is. Yeah, I was thinking we we pay this guy a visit. He was really... the seeker that was on the expedition mm-hmm. to get that stuff. That's what well, I heard too. Two birds, one stone kind of thing. We talked to him, and then Timothy could get his gambling fix. But, oh, but 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 we need to make sure we do it while the girl's dancing, so our tail doesn't come with us. Because we don't want Zaktu to know. Well, she might already know. She won't be yeah, dancing yeah. today. That's right. what he said. So we wait till tomorrow. We can wait till tomorrow. Okay. You think he's gonna get a different person to watch us? Hmm. I wonder. Well, I can always use my my magic so that we can sneak around. Yeah, same so kind of track kind us. magic. We've done it before, Pass of the Trace. Oh, yeah, the sneaky sneak. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like one or two of us invisible too. Yeah. Okay. Make us extra sneaky. It'd probably be better to do it at nighttime though when there are shadows everywhere. Mm. I do and like you are the a night. Shadow. I am the shadows. Yeah. Were you trying to see the telescope? Yeah. Was that dancing? Was that the egg box? Uh, no, no, it was like. No, it was a cat. It's one of the good fires. Okay. Or cats. Yeah. One of the good animals. Is you all. Come to a conclu- come to a plan out here in the city streets in front of the Mermaid's Oasis. We're gonna take a quick break. Yeah. We're gonna take one last break for the night, everybody, uh, and then we'll be back in about ten minutes. We'll be hanging out in the chat, so please hang out with us and stick around for the chaos to, to come <laughs> for whatever happens next. <laughs> Never can tell with this particular group. Uh, let's see, Brookie Blue, welcome back in, and yes, Brookie Blue, you came back in right on a natural twenty. Uh, Hollow help has redeemed Sully another blessing. Woo! Hey, hey. Thanks, hello. And there's one for Bag. Thank you. And I there's one for, for wait, wait for it. 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 And there's one hey. for Riley. Hey. Hollow help coming in, coming in Thank clutch you. with the blessings. Uh, can't do Tim at the moment. Tim should re up here shortly. I got two. All right, yeah, everybody. Yeah, we're two. gonna take a quick break. We're gonna be hanging out in chat. So please stick around with us, and we'll see you all in about ten minutes. See you soon. I'm gonna go dry my pants off.
I just <laughs> checked the channel points. Tim should should have one left. Um, Take another one, Tim. So I'll tell you what, you it's because everybody has tried. Channel points aren't working for some reason. Tim? No, it's fate. It's just like my dice. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's not how it works. Right, don't, don't, fate. Don't, happen. don't waste the time on that. I gotta go right, look through a telescope. I gotta go look through this yourself <laughs> down another D4. Yeah. Boom. Boom. You Boom. Got three. Three. The people Boom. have spoken. Tim. The gods have so given you another. Come. Hollow tried. Oh, Bears and Pooh tried. Triple Dub tried. Well, guys, John the Jersey thank Devil Lit tried. Trying. Everybody's in here trying to help you out, bro. Yeah. Well, thank y'all. Take your blessing. Me. <laughs> Take my blessing. Wolf Druid Rose just, just decided to like right? make a couch. Wolf Druid yeah, Mama Rose just, there. yeah, she just turned a light green. Light screen, so <laughs> we'll count it. We'll count it. I need to. I need to put that on something. something yeah, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, all right. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. As you all find yourselves here in the middle of the streets, uh, you've discovered this revelation about Dalsin, the owner of the Mermaid's Oasis. What do you want to do from here? He's hiding something. The yeah. way you say it, he went and got all the jewels. That what yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. He knows what we need to look for. I don't know that he knows what it is. He was there. Well, how did he get all right. the jewels? Did he find some treasure and not the the. the, the but I wonder if he just thinks it's a treasure, yeah. or if he knows the... Well, he came out with jewels, so he found some treasure and not mm -hmm. the astral. Mm -hmm. Not the astral. Yeah. So the astral's still out there, or he traded it for jewels. Have we heard the name Garrick? Do you guys know the name Garrick? I don't think so. The name doesn't sound familiar to you. No. What, what if the astral wasn't there? Where would it what be? If, it was the size of a... I don't know. This place is supposed to be underground, right? Maybe. Oh, you mean the... I got my notes here. It got swallowed by the earth. No, and it's still maybe, down maybe there. It's fine. Maybe it's they creature. couldn't get it out of there. Yeah, maybe it could be a creature. It's yeah. kind of weird that the map went missing. Yeah. What do you it's mean? I think Dalsim was with the only one that came back to. Yeah, he's hiding. Yeah. 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 So we have to see this guy. Why wouldn't he go back, though? That is the question, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe he's working for the. Maybe he's the scared of the what's down there. Oh gosh, he might be scared. Maybe he saw something. Zach too. Is that what you're talking about, Tim? The other guy, who had the map. Yeah. Zach too. That's. I'm worried that. I don't want them to talk. Keep it. Um, I guess we keep it tight-lipped. Yeah, we only let them talk about what we want them to talk. about. No, it I just mean, mirrors this right? where. So, as long as there's not a copy. It would be. We should have that mm -hmm. necessary information. There's a map that read the city of the great, the great canyon beneath the desert sands, the great crag. Yeah, we have That's that the map, map you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's telling us all where it is. It's out in the, right in the. Yeah, but we gotta figure out how to get there. Yeah. We he's don't know where only, that is. He's the only one who's Yeah, so we get him. him. Yes. And we, we don't want to we, get him. We're not we, gonna we, take we, him out of these. Uh uh. No, no, we just, just want to have a just, conversation with we him. We just didn't convince him. Maybe he wants to go back. Maybe we say we can help him. Would we want him there with us? We want to be there. We want to be there, but do we want him there with us? I don't know. We get him, we get him where he's on the... Well, let's just meet him first. Let's meet yeah. him. Yeah, yeah we meet him out. We're pretty meet? good at killing people. We're seekers. We're, we're seekers. Come on. What do we got to worry about? We don't have to. How about uh, if we... Who said anything about killing? You did. Sylvie did. I didn't, I didn't say anything about killing. You said we're good at killing people. No, that was not me. <laughs> was that you two? He's gaslighting me again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I what about anything. gas? <laughs> <laughs> it was anyway, me, guys. I said anyway, something about okay. killing people. Okay, yeah. So how about, how about we go and see him? Yeah. Just talk to him. And 
you know, we know you didn't dab my hair that colour that time. Yeah. Could you like dab my paw? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any blackberries. I can't grow them. We can maybe find some dye in the city. Never mind. I was trying to get yeah, them put, like a triangle in my paw so it would look like. Oh, I've got some secrets to you know when I shake his hand. You know. What? The eight triangles. <laughs> you, you're gonna do the eight triangles. Thing. <laughs> Why y'all look at me like this? <laughs> I thought it was a No, plan. that's no. He, he, he would recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. He would recognize it. Like the sandal feet, the flip flop dudes. You know. Why did you just write it on a piece of paper? You can shave it into Why your you fur. Do, no, stop it. <laughs> do that. <laughs> You can shave it into your fur. <laughs> on your chest. No, on no, it's not. I'm not going to show it on my chest. <laughs> Just write it down on a piece of paper. Can you not draw? Uh, how about I on your arm? I can draw for you. That'd be like, like a tattoo. I don't... Why is it going to be on your paw? All the time. Oh, oh, you, you, you would look pretty. Yeah, here's pretty, what it looks like. Pretty intimidating. Okay. <laughs> so you draw the sun I'm with the triangles. I'm going to touch myself just in case I need it. All right. It's, it's not, not terribly difficult uh, to, to make a general... A raw it's a it's a circle with the with the eight triangles around it, uh, all of them different sh- different colors, or not all of them, but the top ones are one color, the bottom ones are another. If you can like, tell you which one you which, but yeah, the top four are orange, orange the, bottom the bottom four are white, white. and then the tri- and then the circle itself is red. So mm-hmm. as you quickly you kind of write paint. this out, um, punch you in the lip. Okay. <laughs> hand it back. Here you go. I'm just kidding. Well, it needs to be realistic here, you know. No, 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 it's fine. I've, I've got, I said... Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. So, I just gotta, like, handshake and give him a note. It's like a bit better. Just hold on to it. Uh, okay, let's go see him. Yeah. N- no, yeah. we're going to the blacksmith first. Okay. You already forgot. This is where you want to go. I didn't know what money I had to buy from. Never mind. Just, it's okay, fine. we'll go. Going on. to we'll the go blacksmith. It's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Tough being a skunk, y'all to try it sometimes. <laughs> All this gas pushes your brain cells up, but you can't think. I, you know, I don't doubt it. It's tough. All right, come on, let's go. Let's okay. go, let's go. You're All doing right. great, Tim. So you make your way back to the northern side of the city towards the bazaar. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty good distance. It's about a 25, 20, 25 minute walk to get back to the northern side of the city. Is that the same you, man behind us still? Is this here? I make perception checks. I'm not sure he is. I'm not perceptive. Oh, I'm poor. I'm a, I'm a 16 minus a couple, so. <laughs> I'll try I might be somewhat perceptive. So. Nin- 19. 19? Oh, no, I'm a 16 plus 4, I'm a dirty 20. Mm. Dirty 20 and a 19. 21. 21. So as you all look behind him, Gilly at this point, like he's given up on trying to hide. He's literally just like keeping about a like a hundred foot berth between you and him. Walking through the streets, he sees he's just kind of hey, hey, hey man. He turns over, like you see as he's walking past this cluster of female fetic foxes. They all look at him. This easy kind of looks up. Hey, hey, don't look this way. I'm a ticket man. Kind of keeps just walking. Just, just he's really like fun. He's puffed his chest out. He's just keeping an eye. As he looks in your directions, you all kind of like make eyes with him. He, oh shit. <laughs> kind of like ducks into an alleyway real quick. You're doing great, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, he's definitely still on her tail. I'm fine to make. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for the blacksmith. There is no smith in town, dear. Oh, yeah, that's right. The one that sells the weapons. The dealer. Probably the arms dealer. Yeah. <laughs> you have, yes, uh, you can let Paul's way kind of a gesture. Paul. It takes you a little time. You do manage to find your way to the bazaar once again. And following the suggestion of strangers, you do see ahead, ahead of you, you see the um, the large, the tall caracal with the patch over one eye. He shouted at you when he walked in. He noticed he is surrounded with weapons and shields and armor. Oh, I see. I knew you'd come back here. Yeah. Welcome in. Welcome in. What can I do for you, Seekers? Anybody turn in a uh, glaive that they found just lying no in the street? No one turned one in. I've got one here, though. Is that your glaive? I'm so glad my glaive. Guy turns around. He sees he grasps one off the weapons rack and turns around and gives it a spin. <laughs> grabs it, you notice the blade itself is, it's about six inches longer than the one that Tim had. It curves into this large, it looks almost like a cutlass 
at the end of a pole arm. God turns towards Jesus. This one was enchanted by the great Moro himself. Do you want to double check it? Yeah. Kind of places no. it ahead of you. Perfectly balanced. Tosses it up, lands it on one finger, it balances perfectly. Hey, oh, oh, I forgot my money. I'll be right back. All right. I'm gonna walk around. Who the is corner. this? Uh, who enchanted you? Said <laughs> the great, the great Moro. Morrow Wind Waker. Have I heard of the Morrow Wind Waker? Make a history check. I heard the Wind Walker, I think. It's a different game. I'm gonna walk around the corner and cast the Tech Magic and just cast it. Just casting it, so you oh, <laughs> dug down the corner. You cast the Tech Magic. So as you cast the Tech Magic, it pulsates out from you. For a brief moment, you pick up Conjuration Magic and then it fades. As you're down an alleyway, it's maybe 20 feet from you, pick, you pick up the very remnants of it and then it vanishes. Can I walk towards it? Yeah. You walk towards it? It's, I mean, it's not there anymore. It's, it's just, just gone. faded, yeah. Whatever it was. Okay. I wonder if that Dowling is following us. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Okay, you go back. And with Detect Magic going, you are picking up, indeed, on uh, Bochi's wares, you're picking up, there is, indeed, magic on the Sclave. There is magic on a uh, spear, a, two short swords, a long sword, a scimitar. He has a quiver of arrows that's giving off magic. And then there is a beautiful scimitar resting above everything else. Sitting high, perched on two golden clasps. That is giving off very, very powerful enchantment magic. This stuff's legit. God dang. It's probably getting There's also a shield that looks like it's made of some kind of black scales that is giving off enchantment magic. No staffs. No staffs. Damn it. Spears. <laughs> You can use a spear. I mean, I can. You don't need I to cast. I can technically use a short sword too. You don't need to cast Shillelagh on a magic weapon. I know. I just. <laughs> you just want a staff. I just want a staff. It's all weapons. <laughs> it's all weapons. Because I've had a quarter staff this whole time. He doesn't have any quarter staffs. Well, can you tell me about that really big one up there? Ah, oh, yes, of course. The summer's kiss. Yeah. Strongest. That's a scimitar. Yeah. Gestures up to it. The summer's kiss has been touched by fire from the sun itself. This one was not enchanted by Morrow. This one was found a long time ago in an ancient temple to the distant north of the Vermilion Reach. No one knows the location of this temple, but it was said to have been taken off of an ancient champion's corpse. It is wreathed in flame when you wield it. As in one of the ancients? As in one of the ancients. How much is it? Huh. Well, quite expensive, miss. 1,250 gold pieces mm. for a piece such as that. It's pretty cool. It's out of my budget. What is it? Uh, artificial, it made it. I don't know. You changed it, you don't know. Came from before our time. You just have to use it to learn its strength for yourself. Tell me about those arrows. Oh yeah, those are uh, slightly enchanted arrows. Slightly. Plus one magic arrows. <laughs> How much? With the whole cooler? 500 gold pieces. Oh, cool. 10 of them. You got anything uh -huh. for like 300 gold pieces? That's my budget. That's what we're working with. Might be a little poor. If you've only got 300 gold pieces, dear, then I suggest you uh, probably check some of the other wearers out. All of Bochi's uh, weapons are very well enchanted. 400 gold pieces minimum. Minimum, okay. Good to know what I'm working with. 
I can always come back when I get a little more money. What else you got? Looks around. <laughs> I have a shield that makes you feel stronger when you're attacking a stronger opponent. I just like the way you describe things. It's nice listening to you talk. <laughs> all right. All right. So. All right. Yeah, all right. So that's, a, that's a, Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the, I mean, if you're like that, then you know, the shield here was crafted out of bullet hide. Kind of like pulls it off the wall. This shield will make it for anyone who tries to knock you prone or go without the hardest of trials trying to do so. You ever seen gauntlets like these? Yeah. Like all the time. No, no, no. These are. What? What is it with badgers and gauntlets? I've never understood this. You need a lot of badgers. Not a few of my travel. Okay. Okay. I like badgers. They're cool. They're cool. Probably some of my family, maybe. I would hope so. So, mm. what would you like to do? I don't have enough I guess we can go to uh, wherever it was we're going, you know, where it gets dark. Glaive? Glaive, 400 gold pieces. Plus one, magic glaive. Gives you a little boof. Boost. Boof. 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 It's named Do you, uh, Boof. Do you have a need for any more items? Would you care to look at one to purchase? Depends on what you got, yeah. Boaties are always looking at the trade. The plus one mace. You pull it out. Plus one mace? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have a great story about it. Crap. Make one up. That mace took five lives. It was ripped from the hands of an ancient otter. Both of you make deception checks. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't go and make some shit up. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Minus one? Is it what your modifier is? What? Deception? deception? Yeah. My deception 23. A 23 and a dirty 20? 21. As you say this, he kind of like takes it. Okay. You know, this looks like an author weapon. Tell you what. It needs some cleaning. It needs a little work. There's a little silver engraving added to the uh, the flanges on it. We'll give you half off the glaive. Two other gold pieces and the mace. The glaive's yours. Uh, it's got some attachment. We should keep it. You know, it's what we... Are you one of those hoarders? The yeah. sentimental you type? You use glaze and you lost your glaive. I know, but it's this mace plus 200 gold pieces. Yeah, it's a good glaive. <laughs> you gonna talk me into it or something? I'm not happy. What else do I have to say? It's not the one. Have you thing. ever used the mace? The sword of the withering, is it? No. No. no, no I no. have that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Went to my stuff for some reason. What do I attack with if I don't attack with the sword of the withering? I guess just a death with the glaive and a launch sword because it does more. Do we have a deal or not? <sighs> Do you need some money? We can help you buy it. We're a party. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get my money out and look at it. She no, might it for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like pull out your whole you coin purse and just set it down? <laughs> like he kind of looks at. I thought you said you were broke. Uh, we are. She is, and I am. But apparently he's not. I he count. has more money than I thought. Yeah. This we keep. This is not. Check. This isn't much. Oh, but you owe that I guy. Like you owe that guy all that. It's like yeah. retired. Oh, you mean the guy who beat me up last time? Yeah, yeah, you owe that guy. <laughs> 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 oh, that was classic. <laughs> what was it gonna be? Yeah, you think so? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put in fifty. I know you have two hundred gold. Okay. Yes. okay. I know all of you have like at least five hundred a piece. There's yeah. no way you don't have at least five hundred a piece. We at least yeah. have six hundred a piece. If yeah. My because you got to like three thousand yeah. in that in those in those um, in that mausoleum. I was gonna say I haven't had any money that wasn't split. 
Yeah. So I started with like 10 gold pieces and that was it. So, so uh, everything all, I have yeah, has been yeah. split. Yeah. <laughs> and we haven't spent any money really on anything mm-hmm. that I can no, think yeah. of. You probably have like 800 gold pieces. At least. At least. Okay. <laughs> if this is enough, count out the what I need since I, I'm not good at math. You got it. Man. You know what I love about this group? This is the one group in, in my in all of my campaigns of running over seven, almost seven years of running that they love the game so much they don't even care about the gold. They don't even care how much gold they have. They're just here to play, man. Yeah. <laughs> When normally everybody fights over. We need to figure out how much gold you got. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and figure out all the loot that you guys have had, mm-hmm. and we'll, we'll sort it out. I promise. So, Ooh, you, I just thought of one more thing I want to do while we're in town. I need ingredients for healing potions, mm. so I don't have to scavenge for those. We're we'll gonna Jazir. Yeah, she should have that. Some, yeah. Mm. Okay. Jazir. Mm-hmm. And we have to go to her about your your thing. Your thing. <laughs> what, what, what thing? Your, your, your thing. thing. Your thing. Yeah, your what thing? thing. He your thing. In that. Are we gonna make a deal or what? I mean, yeah, sorry, you guys sorry, are really. Sorry. Like, I there's some customers. Look at look at these guys here. Oh, just looking yeah. over here, like waiting to buy. But it's imagine like the story that you can tell. <laughs> them this. Imagine the story. <laughs> Embellish it. Even better than what it was. All right, Mace, two hundred gold pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullets you won't steal. Let's go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make a note to them. All right, so he kind of like takes it. Somebody. Excellent, excellent. Takes the mace. You see, as he gives it a flourish, he puts it like on the uh, like wraps his finger or his paw around the uh, the wrist strap and gives it a swing. <laughs> Swings it up in the air. Very nice mace. I like the weight of it. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Well, I'll give it the clean. Skills. Turns it around and like sets it behind him. Here you are, sir. Glaive of the model. You ever thought about seeking? Seeking? No. Too much work, all that, you know? Okay. What I... is he? Huh? What, what is he? He's a caracol. Caracol. Key. Key. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you were reading about last night? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why, why I was getting a little fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo. I just need a little warm, so. That's the furnace. It's it's the is. furnace. <laughs> hey, pleasure meeting you. Yes, Good doing business. Hey, you know, whenever you're looking for the best of weapons, remember, I gather weapons from all over Orin. All of them are enchanted by the finest of magicians. So, when you're looking for your weapons, Bochi has you covered. We're pretty good, and I tap my be- uh, whip of the Beastmaster. You need some more staffs. Yes, yeah, she really a staff, staff. I'm your girl. Staff? Yeah. yeah. Turns around. If I had the staff right now, would you buy it off me? It depends. You have to be good at magic. Yeah. My staff's pretty badass right now. Yeah, she beat lots of stuff with it. It takes a look at it. He sees he turns around, he grabs one of those spears. It's not the same! No! It's not the same. I see what you're doing. You can't fool me, my parents are merchants. You're trying to give me a cell that's not a cell. I'll be back one day. You're gonna have to wait. Leave. As you told him. As you like yeah. whip around and begin to walk away, you all begin to flaunt away. I imagine you're all doing it with like a yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a little bit of hip waddle. As you're walking away, he got a... Now that is a foxy fox. Oh. <laughs> no, he t- turns around, yeah. puts the spear back on the, on the weapons rack. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal, Tim. Yeah, from now on, so we can buy all my shit. Yeah. Buy <laughs> all my shit, okay? Okay, I'll just keep up here with your money. I got you. Yeah. I got you. So, where are you headed to next, everyone? We gotta go and get Places? the information out of... Ingredients. Any That's ingredients, right, yeah, she needs ingredients. Yeah. Let's get some ingredients. Uh, Where have we got to get the ingredients from? Jazeera. From Miss Bazir, from, from okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go find her. Back to the bazaar. <laughs> so, uh, so as you shift around, it takes you long. Madame Jazeera's tent is now in place. It was not there last night, but you didn't see us out magically. It has appeared once again just down the, uh, not too far away from Bochi's uh, stall. As you shift over, and gotta make your way into the tent. As you shift over, if you, as you pass I would through, be last. You're gonna be last. So all three of you enter in, you see as Jazir kind of turns around, ah, welcome back, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, as she sees you walk in, she, hello. 
It's you again. These are my friends. I see. And is she also your friend? Not like that. More of a mm. daughter figure. Distant cousin. Yeah. Oh, well. Welcome to Madame Jezebs. What can old. I do for you? I'm old. It made sense. She she needs something. Yes, um, do you have any ingredients or know where I could get some to make some healing potions? Hmm. And how She's can I star you? Sort of. I dabble. Well then, Madame Jazir has what you need. She kind of shifts around. Uh, she kind of turns, she she looks you up and down, like gives you this really mean stare. Look back towards Bag and just kind of grins. <laughs> She gathers a few components. I don't know. How many are you looking to make, dear? Um. I mean, you gotta heal me and him. Yeah, at least three. And yourself. Yeah. Very well. Maybe four, if you have enough. She shifts around. Healing potions. Okay. You watch as she gathers a few components and comes back to you. She has like a satchel of small herbs. She has a few mushrooms in a vial, and then one what looks to be some kind of nectar in a small vial as well. Enough for four healing potions, and this will run you a hundred gold pieces. Cause you're going to expensive in this place, Karen. I'll give you 25 gold. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looked right at Wiley. <laughs> well, I'll look at Wiley and give you another 25 gold. <laughs> Get what you need out I'll of let here. you know, I haven't spent the dime <laughs> <laughs> during this whole, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll split it up. Okay. <laughs> so sure you haven't spent, yeah. <laughs> you haven't spent a single copper since the start of the game. I really remember, haven't. Remember, he's not getting one. I donated it to my mom. Passes it over to you. Well, I hope that you brew them well. Thank you. May the moon watch over you as you stir. On this point, Bag, you oh. hear she just some... Person? Bag, you hear something on the wind. Bag. Do I see anything? Make a perception check. It's a 13. 13? So you look around, you see nothing, but then you hear the wind wash over your other ear, you hear your name again. Bag. What? Who is that? You, you see as the wind kind of billows out, flipping the curtains of the tent itself. I'll be right back. Uh, oh, okay, like for real right back? Yeah, yeah. Message me and let me know what's going on or somebody, I don't care. Well, you gotta, you, you know, use the. We're training him. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Jazuka. Uh, where, where are you going? He needs your help. Uh, I wouldn't say help, but. <sighs> yeah, you. Very well. What can Madam Jazir do you, for you? This Jazir person, everybody says, is knowledgeable about the area. Oh, this is just crazy. I am. Um, a font of knowledge, to an extent, yes. Okay. But what kind of knowledge are you seeking, oh, exactly? Ancient knowledge. As I'm walking out, I want to give Wiley the papyrus that I got. Okay. The, the oh, the, yeah, the note, the mm -hmm. self-note. Okay. So you hand him out, hand it over to you, step out. Ancient knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. Tim farted a little bit. <laughs> she takes it and she unravels it. This is the one that you found in the office, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I remember. I observe a Garrick. Poor fellow went, dis went missing several years ago. Do you know what he was looking for? Well, as far as I understand, he had charted a course to what was supposed to have been the largest astral in history. A group of seekers left out, led by Dawson, the owner mm -hmm. of the Mermaid's Oasis. She looks, she kind of thinks for a moment. What interest do you have in this... 
Sepatos. Does that name mean anything to you? <sighs> Sepatos again. Again? No. I told your friend, as handsome as he was, very handsome, I told him no. I will give you nothing. What did he ask you for? Just curious. <laughs> I see you. You're trying to be tricky. No. No. I can't. I've seen what it does. I've seen what it does. What did it do? Destroys everything, dear. It destroys everything. Then why is we still here? And, and yet, uh, Dalsim came back. From this place. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I'm not charismatic. Thanks. Thanks. Come on. But I do have a bless, right? I have a third bless. You do have a third bless? Alright, last one of the night. Persuasion. Nice. Nice. Oh. 22. A 22? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. She kind of hangs her head. You are persistent. I'll give you that. You and your friend. <laughs> Be warned if you if you chase this path, you may very well bring ruin to all of our people here. Mm -hmm. I have seen it in a vision that which lies beneath the sand. It is a great calamity, worse in the withering, a fog of death. They cannot be stopped by astrals. Mm. And it will coat Sandhaven. Can I insight check her, see if she's believed? Make an insight check. What's she saying? Oh. I smile. Fifteen. Fifteen? From what you can tell, she seems to believe what she's saying. She seems very terrified at the idea of it. If you wish to speak with Dalsim, I do believe he should answer for his question, for what, answer for what questions he brought about when he returned. His comrades fallen, no astral, no map, and yet he had the wealth to purchase an entire in and turn it into a casino. Mm. Yes, a I believe that something happened out in the desert. I know it did. Sounds like he made a deal with the devil. Yeah. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. If you truly want to help the city, seek out Dalsim. Ask him your questions but do not pursue the city of Zepidos. It will bring only ruin. Mm. That which lies beneath is far older, far more dangerous than anything we've ever set eyes upon. As I told your friend, if you must, then stay away from the Temple of Gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I tell her about your surprise? Sylvie, you're so it. persistent about yeah, these things. Because it, it, it attacked me and nearly killed me. Okay. What is the problem? Um, He may or may not have touched something that he shouldn't have. Um, yeah, no, it's got like a disease. They and say it's, it's maybe <laughs> a, a disease. It hurts when he pees. <laughs> <laughs> a curse or something. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. It's. Um, as you pull this. As, as you pull <laughs> the staff, she immediately. Oh! <gasps> 
Yeah, um, it's not so that that's bad. a problem. Can you fix it? It's not that bad. That's not a problem. Yes, it is. That's bigger than a problem, dear. <laughs> oh, what? Well, as big as under the sand? That's just... How can you not see it? What? I, I mean, I can... It's possessed? Yeah, yeah, I know. It tried to kill us. Um, yeah. Can, can you help us? Hundred gold pieces. No, that's on you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Right, you didn't give her a second to this. Gold pieces. Wait, 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 madam, madam, just see. Madam, just see. What are you going to do with it? A hundred gold pieces. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to remove the apparition that has taken a hold. Well, what, what, Can you what, what still use the staff? Well, what happened to the staff? It would be uncursed. What's the apparition? What's, and, it, what's his name? Where did it come from? I think from? we know its name. Yeah, we know its name. Oh, we do? Yeah. And nothing yeah. else will be changed. It'll be just as... I can make no promises. All I can say is that if you hold on to this staff, it will be your undoing! Zeta. Oh. Strauss. All this undoing and end of the world. Do we inside check? Do we make, believe it? Make an inside check. Uh, that's a... That's a... Thirteen. And the world's gonna end at some time, you know. The world's well gotta end sometime. Yeah. <laughs> as far as you can tell, she's being honest. She seems to believe what she's saying at yeah. least. Yeah, yeah. Now, hundred gold pieces, or you walk out immediately and never come back with that staff. See, I want nothing to do with this at all. And this is the only way. If you want this removed. It's for the safety of all of us. Okay, you know? all right, all right, all right. <laughs> safety of everybody, all right. You did try to kill us, remember? And you almost succeeded. I have no recollection of that event. You don't remember? I'll show you this cars. They're here. You take it out, you take out the three gold pieces. I don't, <laughs> uh, hey, it's a little. She takes it, like, she has to put both little, <laughs> little paws on She's a tiny little fennec fox. She, <laughs> 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 Let us begin. Can you help me, dear? Yes. I'm going to need that sage. Okay, sage. And so you Got know, it. The two of you begin to scuttle, scuttle about, then you feel this wind. <laughs> that kind of billows through. And all three of you feel something in your pockets that appears. As you A pocket witch. reach in. Pocket size witch. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have in your pockets? What the fuck? I don't know. This has been the most obscure. This is <laughs> very bizarre. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's about we to are from Goose Town. Yeah. <laughs> we never left. We just didn't know it. <clears throat> oh God! Yeah, no, we're still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're underground. So <laughs> snorkels. Uh, let's see. Uh, this. Cookies. Oh. <laughs> Bag. No. As you step outside, you hear your name once more. Bag. What? You feel the wind kind of carry you towards an alley nearby, and you see this shadow, these eyes kind of watching you, they kind of shift backwards. You notice there's this beautiful smile. Long, flowing hair as it sifts backwards. Hello. As you approach, kind of stepping to the alleyway, you see nothing for the first second or so. It's twenty-three ahead. Yep, <gasps> that hits. Ow! I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! 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 Spider. Con save fourteen. Yeah, that's better. 
Damn it. You're gonna take. Better not. You're gonna take I'm full. 37 points of poison damage. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and you feel this sting in your back. Immediately you seize up. As you seize up in place, you feel these tiny little arms reaching around and you feel oh, what's that. like silk. <laughs> begin to wrap you up. The last thing you see as you look up is a spider that's standing about eight feet tall. It kind of shifts into position, warping out of invisibility and into view. As it wraps you up quickly in its webbing, you have been summoned. You are paralyzed at this moment. Did I have time to send Alistair to them? You did not. Fuck. <laughs> so, do you want... It says, the creature looks down at you. You have been <coughs> summoned back by our mistress. Ah. <laughs> the three of you, as you reach into your pockets, you find a silk woven invitation. On the front of it, it says, you are cordially invited to the wedding day of Bag Diggerson and Ilana Moonweaver. <laughs> and that is where we are going to what? end tonight's session. No. <laughs> no. There are resounding yeses <laughs> in the chat right now. <laughs> oh she no! Is Alana oh, has come around. to claim <laughs> her Everybody prize. Your wife. Uh, I love silk sheets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good. <laughs> really, really good. So, for those of you who don't know, Will is going to be absent for the next few weeks. Uh, he is taking a trip out to visit some friends in Colorado and is going to be gone for a while. And so we needed a quick ride off for Bag that would lead us to, uh, so, I yeah. didn't know you were gonna do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, You're going to be uh, a wedding. we're going to end tonight's session there. A Fox Tail will return next Thursday and the Thursday after that. And I think, I think we're skipping a Thursday after that for the renovations. I think, yes, that's accurate. But Will will be absent for the next three sessions because he's going to be gone for a while. Yep. He's got a trip and then he's going to be gone for a work thing. So we're going to be bringing in a guest player for the next few sessions of A Fox Tale to continue this tale as the wedding arc Begin. The wedding art. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys better fucking come to my wedding. <laughs> I mean, we don't really Will have not. Choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, with that, we're going to end tonight's session, day. everybody. I, know. <laughs> yeah, you know. uh, I would like to say, first of all, uh, Kinda Pan Zach, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you for being here. For those of you who. Uh, John the Jersey Devil is really excited. I've seen the whole caps answers in the chat. Yes! <laughs> Boo, this is my RSVP. <laughs> so the wedding is coming, and I'm very oh, excited no. about the wedding. Oh, God. So, <laughs> the bigger for me, too. <laughs> Holy shit. How are we going to get you out of it? Just period. Speak now for a Oh man. Lucky Jason, wait, I walked away. Who's getting married? <laughs> a badger and a spider. A badger and a. Well, not a spider anymore. Oh. Mm. Remember, she told you 
that was not her, her true, form. true form. Oh, we get this pretty, pretty princess. Hey. So she... she got a sister. <laughs> yeah, she does. I guess she does. She does. Ill foot or something like that. Yeah. Uh, everybody, thank you so, so, so very much for hanging out with us tonight. We're, we, we're so, so happy that you joined us on this, this crazy tale tonight. Was we didn't have uh, any combat, but still a lot of roles were made. Yeah. A lot of roles were made, and we did the property damage. You guys yeah. 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 made it to another town. And this time, instead of instead of just blowing a city up, you, you committed arson. Arson. Like, literally, you literally lit it and threw it in the building. I had to. I had to. So. If these are all males, we could call it Property Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Property. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to Property really siblings. Do it. Not the yeah. building it was. I wanted to go in and have, him, have, uh, have to have on his conscience that it was like an orphanage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. First of all, guys, thank you all so much for the thank subs tonight. You. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for all your generosity. You guys are fantastic. We are so grateful for all of you. Uh, and it's because of you that we're able to continue to grow this this stream. Uh, like I said, like we told you before, our goal is to turn this into a variety tabletop gaming stream. Uh, that, that is our ultimate goal. We would love to, love to do that with it. Um, so with that, um, we're gonna let's go ahead and wrap it up. We had three natural twenties on the night, so let's go ahead and close Damn out the prediction with three natural twenties. Ooh. I think I voted again for eight thousand. I put a bunch up and I think I won. Yay. I think I voted three natural twenties. Yeah, it looks like there's thirteen thousand yeah. in that particular <laughs> <laughs> So but you're also one of seven who, oh, nice. who oh, put yeah. up the money for, okay. for that. So yeah, yeah. midnight strike, congratulations, <laughs> midnight strike. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Along with six win. others who have won 22,000 channel points between them. Congratulations, everybody. Nice. And uh, thank you so much for, for, for putting up your channel points in our prediction. Do not forget that you can uh, that you can use those in the gauntlet next Wednesday. Uh, Lucky Jade. It was Lucky Jade. Woo! And Triple Dub. Triple Dub. Triple Dub. Yeah, Triple Dub got it, too. Way to go, Triple Dub. Jersey Devil. And oh, also, Triple Dub, Triple Dub and Adam uh, oh, both wished oh. Wiley a happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday! Hey. Thank you. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Don't forget, uh, we are out the rest of the week, but on Monday we return for, with Tales from the Winter Wilds. On Tuesday, Tales from the Blue Cottage returns. On Wednesday, we come back with another round of the Gauntlet. And next Thursday, we will be returning with a foxtail as we start the wedding arc of our story. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm really, I'm really anxious to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, the wedding crash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what it should be called, the wedding crash. The wedding crash. The wedding <laughs> crash arc. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you're not already following us, we would love it if you guys would slap that follow button and come join us for all of our D and D shenanigans. Gilly. Not be taking that short. Solidify that partnership. No. This is a political marriage. No. I refuse. <laughs> So, uh, uh, John Drizzle said that had to be fun to write. Indeed, it was. Indeed, it was. Lucky Jade said, "Love you guys. Love, love you too. Me. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Jade. We love all of you so very, very much. You guys are amazing. Like I said, we we could not do this without you. This is this has been a lot of damn fun to grow over this past year, and I cannot wait to see where it goes. Um, if you guys don't know already, we have a Discord server. We'd love to if you guys come join us over there and call to us. We'd love to get to know each of you person on a personal level. So please come join us on our Discord server. Talk to us about your D and D campaigns, and feel free to ask us about any of ours because we have a shit ton of them. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I I can't keep track of them anymore, and I run <laughs> all of them. So who am I? My my brain is very very scattered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a good thing for ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Rose, for putting that Discord in the in the chat. So seriously, everyone, let's go take this level six generosity. Let's go make somebody somebody's night as we go raid someone else. Um, yeah. And until next time, we love you all so very very much. And good night. Good night. So long. Bye. See you later. Bye.